All right. We are alive on this lovely Friday. Welcome back. Um, it's been a hot minute. I skipped my last Sunday. We were out of town and I've missed you guys. So thank you for anybody popping in tonight for round two of Carmen San Diego. The great chase through time, aka where in time is Carmen San Diego, depending on what year in the 90s uh, you were playing this game. So, um, hopefully everybody can hear me okay. I did switch back to my headset mic. I just, I couldn't get the volume that I wanted for my freestanding. I need a boom to get that closer to my face. Um, and my poor desk is just really overcrowded right now. So, cheers everybody. Happy Friday. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, get started here in just a minute. I'm going to let my dinner settle. I just wolfed some delicious ribs and mac and cheese. And yeah, I need a minute. Um, got some cats going on in the background tonight. We'll see how long they stay behaved. That's how long they get to stay in the room. Um, yeah. Ah, delicious honey whiskey. So tasty. Um, so before we get going tonight, um, there's a big announcement we get to make. Super excited to bring you guys our second official Rap Scallion Brigade giveaway. Um, gonna do a quick rundown here um, at the beginning and at the end of the stream, just in case anybody's in and out. Um, so what we're gonna do this time, um, for anybody who was around for our Night Trap giveaway in October, this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, we are gonna use a widget called Streamlabs, um, which uh, you will need to have active on your Twitch to be able to participate. So step one, Streamlabs, very important. Once you have Streamlabs up, um, oh good, so apparently my notification still says, <laughs> still says we're doing a uh, Super Metroid here. Awesome. Um, I might restart. Oh no, it's loaded on the game. We just didn't change the push notification. That's okay. Um, Damn you, Jesse. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the giveaway. Streamlabs. So step one, Streamlabs overlay. Starting tomorrow um, with Josh slash Deep Fried Awesome. He will be bringing you guys Double Dragon with special guest feature uh, from Matt, a buddy who's done a couple of spots on Foberg. Um, I guess it was just the push notification, Josh. Uh, not the actual... Oh, boo. Womp womp. Anyway. So, starting tomorrow, Streamlabs widget up, Double Dragon on, and starting tomorrow and running through the whole rest of the week, culminating in um, the next Saturday streaming of Boberg, we will be having gold coin earnage going on for you guys. Um, some of you may have been doing that the entire time. Thank you for that. Uh, we will be resetting all of that tonight after this stream. So we'll, everybody's slate will be wiped clean and we will start our earning fresh tomorrow. There will be multiple options for you guys to enter a giveaway. We're giving away some Steam codes. And as you earn coins, the longer you watch, the more coins you get, the more entries you will be able to redeem those coins for and higher chances of winning said Steam codes. Uh, we will be doing multiple codes. We're going to be giving you guys Pony Island, Psychonauts, uh, what else? Black Hole, Back to Bed, and Cities in Motion 2 all of which uh, via Steam again. So we'll draw three random names at the end of the week based on the number of entries everybody puts in. Random winners drawn. Winner number one gets their pick of the five. Winner number two gets the leftovers. Winner number three gets the dregs. So the more entries, the better your chance of winning, and you definitely want to win first so you get all the pickings, uh, all the fresh Steam codes right there at your fingertips. Um, so yeah, we'll break that down a little bit again uh, as the stream goes on, and at the end we'll have a little bit more polished verbiage, but um, right now it's Friday and it's whiskey time, and we're back in time with Carmen San Diego. So we're going to get on it. Uh, womp womp. Anyway, push notifications be damned. Let's play this game. doop a doop a doop Whose grandma are we talking about? So many grandmas. All of the grandmas. What? I don't know. Off to San Diego land. Boop. And uh, again, let me know. I tweaked the audio quite a bit. 
So please let me know if it's not coming through or if I'm too loud, it's too loud, yada, yada, yada. Let me know. Um, we want to restart. I did load this in real quick. So we'll restart it. You're moving on to Germany in the 1400s. Birthplace of mechanical printing. Ooh, printing press time. This is where it starts to get real and my knowledge is going to lag. Womp. Time for a title search, time trooper. This time, that genial genius, Ivan Idea, is going along. <laughs> he might be my favorite pun name. Ivan Idea. It's and just, it's so easy. Print. Yeah, uh, I don't know how you wore platform heels all day, Ben. You looked great, you and the wife repping tower property management um that was some Welcome sweet sweet booth German setup you guys had i have never seen anything more Looks 70s in my life hey, it was fantastic we must be in the world's first printing shop very very quiet stolen, gone before the ink was dry. let me turn that volume up a little bit for you guys and printing type everywhere I'll be the laughing stock of mints. The Raging Grannies. That's a thing. All right. I want to be part of the Raging Grannies. I probably don't qualify for that just yet. Uh, FYI, real quick, guys. Is it game audio or mic audio? Which is low. Toggle all of the settings. I don't know why nothing ever sticks. Um... Such as life, I guess. <laughs> Traumatic flashbacks. I need to know. I need to know so much more about the Raging Grannies' song, political songs. Just, I want to know more. Oh, handing out flowers all day. That is so 70s. All right, game audio. I have bumped a little bit. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you guys. Back in. Let's talk to Mr. Gutenberg. We'll see how he sounds for you guys. I'll keep my trap shut for a minute. Tragedy. No print shop tour today, I'm afraid. My masterwork has been stolen. That's just not good. This pot is filled with clear linseed oil. All I need to do is add some rich, dark lamp black to make my special blend of printer's ink. <laughs> mine printer's ink. I like that. Those are wooden printing blocks. They're carved to make an impression when inked and pressed on paper. Uh -huh, Those simple uh -huh. blocks make images of playing cards. I made quite a business of them for a time. But now my passion is for the complex business. I really of like that they had the text. voice actor say mine and then the captions are just regular English. Yay, good sound. Awesome. Thank you guys. I appreciate the feedback. That expensive printing parchment is called vellum. Each double sheet is the skin of an entire sheep. Wow. At that rate, I didn't know I that. Need a whole flock to make a single book. I knew Yuck. vellum was sheepskin, no but sheep don't read. A whole one? Damn. That's crazy. You found a piece of the sea now. Oh, <laughs> pretty soon it'll be. <laughs> I just thought it was more printing information. Sweet. Before I come to bring you home, you'll snatch the world's first typed-up tome. Awesome. Carl, well, Carmen's gonna snatch us, guys. Nothing to click up here, and then printing press actual, of course. Gutenberg didn't have to design that press from scratch. He took a simple wine press and, with a few tweaks, turned it into a reliable printing press. Oh, Way it was a wine cool. press originally. That's kind of cool. I feel like that's a lot better than everybody like getting in a big barrel and like stomping down on ink and paper to make the cards. Although that, I've yet to ever do that. That's on my bucket list is to be up and like stomping the shit out of some grapes to make wine. I don't know why. That's a thing that I really just want to do, but it just seems like something you would gotten in trouble for when you were little, so that just makes it even better to get away with as an adult and then be able to drink the alcohol from it. It's just the best. Oh, here you go. Here's the, uh, who crapped all over this guy's desk. A wine stomp, that's it. I've heard about that. It's like a bar crawl, a wine stomp. I don't know what else you'd do. What like a, a mess. liquor shuffle, I guess. <laughs> Such a mess. Oh, yeah. This ink is spilled on everything, including me. 
poor Hans. All right, ink pot, manuscript. That German manuscript contains beautiful Gothic handwriting. I'm thinking about changing my metal printing type, which looks rather dull right now, mm. to match this fancy of And thus the style. first font was born. Edges were cut away to make pages, leaves were stitched together, and it was all bound with a spine. Oh, that's so brutal. Gutenberg would star along Ted Danson and Tom Selleck in Three Men and a Baby. I barely remember that movie, and I think I'm okay with that. Yes, talk to Gutenberg. Hello again. My Bible is still missing. Bitte, have you seen it? Bitte? Who is Bitte? Who are you? My name is Johann Gutenberg. I have just invented a bold new method of printing words using my clever He's invention. very humble. He's like, I'm so clever. Press. Look at this thing that I have done. Uh, well, you huh. see, I've been a metalsmith and jeweler most of my life. So yeah, I no, join me in the drinking, guys. The uh, honey whiskey and repping the Gville. We were just there last metal. week. Sad day. We were there literally a week ago, and it already seems so far, so far gone. Oh, look at you, Brian, dropping the foreign language facts. All right, all right. Movable type are blocks of metal with a raised letter on top. The letter is set backwards so that it will print forwards <laughs> when pressed to paper. Simple, oh. no? So simple. Yeah, I really love, like, some of the puns in this game are so obvious. My workshop and some of them are robbed. so very subtle, and I really appreciate that they have a mix Bible, of both in there. The first printed book in all of Europe. Ah, and the villain also made quite a mess oh, while running away. Oh, so the villain shit all over the guy's desk. Now we know. Why not just make it again? Like, just run a couple thousand sheets off. It'll be fine. Ach, if only it was that easy. My printing ink is spilled, and to make a new batch, I'll need lamp black. Lamp also, black. I need to create a notice warning the townsfolk of that thief in our <laughs> midst. Before the Bible, but a warning of the thief. Like this, I'm useless. So clean up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Peter. Find Be me some there. lamp black and print I can't believe this dude is freaking out over one Bible. The, the villain can keep their Bible. Seriously, it's like, uh, we'll just make another one since that's literally what this machine does. You think it would have been better off, like, stealing, like, the plates. Like, the actual press plates that he couldn't make more, but... It's like you're that literally looking at the beginning of, like, manufacturing of books. Yes, we've kind of talked about this. Is turned, the Turn the lever. Turn the lever, Kronk! Of vellum <laughs> some metal type with a coating of dark ink in between. Yeah, seriously, result, you can get a Bible, like, literally, just stay at any hotel, page. open that top drawer, bam, Bible. Uh. <laughs> ah, the pressing part takes only a moment, but laying out all the metal type to make words and sentences is a slow process indeed. A full On an page a day. day. My workers can lay oh out my god. One full page. Two at most. Like, even if you got away with two, do you know how many pages are in the Bible that shit's printed on tissue paper? Good lord. It does make you appreciate back in the day when they wrote all of that down by hand and hand copied every damn little thing. Ugh. Cringe. All right, out we go. I think we've covered everything here. 20 sheep's worth of Bible. It's like a hundred duck sized horses. Can you remember <laughs> to bring me some lamp black? My printing press is silent without it. Yes, yes, yes. Bitte, bitte, bitte. Ooh, I already like the the beer fest kind of music we got going on here. Uh, oil lamp. Is this where I get lamp black? Oh, here's a chicken. That chicken's seen cleaner days. She's covered in such. I can pick up the chicken. This is not gonna end well. I already know. Holding the chicken. Use the chicken on the oil lamp. Chicken! Chicken, no! What are you doing? Why did the dirty chicken cross the road? <laughs> because it did not want to be roasted on an oil lamp! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought he was getting mad at me for a second. I'm really glad that that went with laughter. Copper. Copper. Atomic numero 29. Atomic numero? I'm so 90s, Copper bro. Oh my god. Reddish color. Thanks, Stuter. That metal there is iron. Believe it or not, the Earth's core is mostly made of pure iron. I believe it. Recipe for youth. Note. Gold. Silver. Lead. 
Ooh, let's touch the lead. That metal is lead. Atomic number 82. The big number. My favorite thing when I check my awesome track stuff is when I come across original so receipts. Heavy. I'm okay, that's kind of random, Josh, but thanks. Yes. Lead into gold. I forgot Germans it's used to have senses of humor. <laughs> no longer. Before the printing press, it's estimated there are about 30,000 books in all of Europe, but by 1500, there were close to 10 to 12 million. Yeah, seriously. Props, Gutenberg. I still haul around an ungodly amount of actual physical books. I, I refuse to get a Kindle. I refuse to do audiobooks. I just don't enjoy them like I do reading a physical copy of something, man. It just doesn't do it for me. I like seeing my old this dog ears Zick. and my Cheeto Atomic finger marks third. and like seeing Zick the crease spine from how many times I've read it. Like it's a tactile sensation that just can't be replaced. This metal is oh, Zick. I did the Atomic thing. Number yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Ah, gourd! I love yes, gourd! Yes, yes. It's an my gold oh, he's an alchemist. Oh, God. I'm trying to discover the secret of changing boring metals like lead. Good luck with that, bro. Gold. No luck so far, so. Luck is definitely I something. Excuse to get a gun for home needing. defense. Is a crossbow or nothing? Honestly, crossbows do the job, man. They do the job. Let's see. And honestly, if you've got like a muzzle loader musket, then you're about the same bolt as a crossbow. The same bolt as a crossbow. <laughs> Terrible. This is a recipe for my new eternal youth elixir. One blackened chicken feather. The ink flip page is way too slow. A pinch of lead. Brian is not like my crossbow puns. That's all right. I do. I like my puns. I'll just sit here and make jokes to myself on that. Y'all can go. <laughs> Don't go. That was. A j I'm sorry. Don't leave. Good eye, trooper. Yeah, another piece of snow. The snow is going really quickly. Make your vile swipe when the time is ripe. I feel like I remember them saying what vile stood for and I can't. Villain, Intelligence, League of Evil. I don't know. Something. The Evil League of Evil. Bad horse. Hello! Have you come for a potion or a Hello! I use only the finest metal in the That sounds like a great way. Like, yes, let me drink this potion made of the finest metal. Why, I'm the butcher! Oh, no! No, no, that's not right. I, oh, Going through the yes. library, sitting down, and reading a place surrounded by the smell of books. Oh, man. I was a library geek, too. I mean that in the fondest way. Like, I would just not want to do my work, though, because I would find a book that I had either never seen by my favorite author, or just that had really cool cover or something, and I would end up like, I'm just going to flip through this real quick. And now I'm just sitting here reading the whole thing instead of doing what I'm supposed to do. Um, same thing when I was cleaning my room when I was younger. Inevitably, I would find books to put away and I would just end up reading the book for an hour and not cleaning. I have all sorts of metals. All the I recently supplied Gutenberg with the metals he uses for his new move Antimony. Seems like Is that what happens when metals get divorced? Antimony. That old lamp was once a prime source of illumination. Yes, oh, yes, so you have a lot of lamp black. I bet I can help you with that, bruh. <laughs> SpongeBob card. <laughs> SpongeBob, I, I hated, hated that show. The 360 platformer was fucking baller, and I had to eat my words about. I hate everything SpongeBob. No, that that platformer was amazing. Uh, everyone needs that daily iron. Uh, his profession confused. Yeah. Whoops. What am I? What is my life? Super into genealogy. I found out one of my ancestors was a local agricultural figurehead. I didn't have kids. I would have volunteered at one of the local small town museums when they asked me. Books. Oh, books. <laughs> the memes are amazing. Yeah, the, uh, I don't even get what part of the show is from, but the, like, awkward capitalization. Like, I can't. I freaking love them. It's, I'm sure, I really hope you guys know what I mean from my weird Spongebob chicken flap that I just did, but, uh, or not. It's covered with soot from the smoke of burning oil. Black pee. <laughs> Filthy mess. Black pee's ice. Who has time to clean silly lamps? <laughs> I'm loftier golem, alchemist, sorcerer of stone. Eat this lead. Into gold. Gold! Gold! <laughs> Goddamn Mongolians. Alright, okay, thank you. 
I would like to clean. Yes, filthy. Yes, yes. This oil lamp is All yours scary. if I want it. Seriously. Good for light. All yours if you want it. Okay. Thanks, bro. Can I just take the chicken too? Okay. I'm just like. And this and this lamp. I need this lamp. Oh God! Terrible. Terrible. I'm not even gonna read that. Terrible. Uh, fountain. That old fountain is a relic from the Roman age. Lucky for us, the plumbing doesn't need fixing. <laughs> uh, all right, Gutenberg shop. We've been to this Classic building. Classic 15th century architecture. Renaissance would love those cross-hatched beams. <laughs> Renaissance. Oh God, terrible. All right, there's not a whole lot of places to go here in Germany. So I guess we go back to Gutenberg and just throw this lamp at him. Here you go. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. The this lamp comes from partially burned Still from the oil. very drunk bookshare. Just what I need to make a new batch <laughs> oh, of Oh, terrible, terrible. Wow, he needs to come to my house and clean my shit. Sorry about that lamp. Yeah, that's cool, bro. You you just wreck shit. Um You're in for Yes, the meme about SpongeBob mocking people. Thank you. I'm sure there's a more official know your meme type name, but uh Arrange the type on the chase. Very good. It is time to compose oh, a noteworthy warning notice. A noteworthy. <laughs> oh god, it's all backwards. Shit. That spacer makes the spaces between words. This is getting way you more don't complex. Need to move them for this notice. All right. Spaces between words. What? That's movable type. All the pieces are the same All size. Right. I so can't read backwards to save evenly. my life. And the letters are backwards, so they'll print out forwards on paper. Backwards and then forwards. Okay. Um, notice. Thief. So we need a T. Good thing T looks the same way. T I. Oh, good. All of these letters are the same either way they face. Easy peasy. F. Thief. Where's the F? Uh, so I take this one. Nope, no, nope, that goes there. Thief. F. I don't see an F. Is that... No? Thee. Thee. Look at you. Man, Vit's on top of it. Alright. Any... Oh, there's F. Duh. derp a derp a derp Thief on the loose. L... Thief on the loose. It's the third row, all the way. There you go. All right. Bibles. No. Thief on the loose. B S L. Hmm. This I don't know. Bible lost. Bible stolen. I don't think I have enough. Okay, so that must be... You can start moving those around if you want to help me compose yeah, my no, notes. no, I'm working on it, bro. Thank you. B-I-B... -B Bible... Stolen? Ha! I know English! Yay! Now, print. Gutenberg didn't have to design that press from scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did that. Yes. Press the notice. Notice we have no notice? Oh, Without shit. any vellum on the chase, we've printed on thin air. All right, fair enough. That was dumb. I are dumb. He just explained the whole thing to me. I'm like, let's put the ink on the thing and stamp it together. Bam. Well done. Let's have a look at the notice. Oh, wonderbar. You've printed an invisible <laughs> message. <laughs> we will need some ink to produce legible I thought he results. got the ink. I thought he put it on. All right, they're making me do this whole thing. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't have to crumple it, dude. We could have reused it. Way to waste an entire damn sheep. Ink ball? That's the ink ball my wife so ink kindly ball? designed for me. It's made of soft leather, and okay. it's used to smear ink on the printing type. Cool, I'm a... Pick up the ink ball. Ach, nein. What a oh, mess. Oh, God. I'm an idiot. We can't ink the chase after putting I the I would bellum. make a terrible printer. I know. I'm the worst. Put the bellum back. Ink the thing. Ink, ink it. Good. 
Let's ink. Let's just ink. All right, now the vellum. Now the pushy pushy. Now well I have done. it. Let's have a look at the notice. Oh, that's <clears> true. <throat> I guess I would have notice. this like braille-ish. Well said. A fine beginning. Thief on the loose. <laughs> he's like, this is a great story. It's not like he's living this right now. Oh, this is so wonderful. I am He's getting seriously worked up about this. That's adorable. This notice is quite perfect. Just quite perfect. It just took you like four stack. times to actually like make it happen. Sweet. And voila. Wow. Notices I like the typewriter the noises that they did just over. now. That was pretty I'm amazing. To put up these notices and warn the good folk of Mints about the thief. Boom. Oh, Carmen note. Oh, yeah. This was a you super quick one if I hadn't been dumb. Let's decode this baby. Yeah. And hide by the major metal in Johan's printing type. What are these things made out of? Shit. I'll just activate these time cups here. Iron. <laughs> I wasn't listening at all. Uh, I think it was iron. No thief. Nope. Guess he's not in his element. Was it lead? There. I was. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. Called. Let's see. Okay, this is a weird snack food we got at Target called Bamba. Is that like the? Elemental. Lead is the major <laughs> metal in Gutenberg's type, and that's just where our thief is hiding. Get him, man! Get him! He's hiding in a tiny little lead bucket. Woohoo! We busted Jane Reaction! <laughs> Jane Reaction, yes! I love it! Your runaway reaction days are over, Jane! It's like You're Cheese Puffs had a baby with Reese's? Wait, what? Detectives. You've got cheese me Puffs under with control chocolate? For now, but there's a meltdown coming soon, and her name is Carmen San Diego. Yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna need to get another round of whiskey here Way shortly. To go. You put the chains on Jane Reaction, mastered the printing process, and got Gutenberg back in the biblical bookmaking business. Oh, that's so many Bs. Such Thanks alliteration. You, the printed word will carry the world's wisdom to Like, seriously, it's cheesy history. poofs with chocolate filling? Librarians or is it... Everywhere, thank I have you. so many questions. I'm gonna be Googling Bombas and Work Granny like Rage Barbershop hey, Quartet. <laughs> Good. Target's because gotten pretty lit lately. Time detective. I uh, want to I never leave with just what size, I went in there to get ever. Brewing. Can you start working on it? Yes. Let us continue. If we do really good tonight, I might not even be playing this on my all-day stream on Sunday. Self plug. Wait, what? Ah, oh, shit. I was not prepared for that. All right. Um, hold, please. Damn, this is a massive game for the 90s. Like, frickin' two discs and shit? Oh my god. I have no idea what I have that stacked. Hold. Hold, please. I have way too many jewel cases in my life. Oregon Trail. Ah, there we go. Great chase through time. Look at that! Disc two. Yes. Alright. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm gonna let you guys look at that real quick while I shift about. Definitely not because reasons. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, are you gonna be? Of course, now my cats see me getting up, and they're like, "Oh, is it time to go out of the room? Is it time? Do you want to leave? All right." Go. Don't be such a cat. Just go. They always do that thing where they stand at the door, and then they look outside the door, but then they don't actually want to leave. <laughs> it's like if cheese puffs tasted like peanut butter. Ooh, a six disc game. Darth bringing the heat. In a really fragile single case, four CDs. Oh man, I'm trying to think what the biggest CD installation I had was. Like, I remember having a really fat jewel case, but I do not remember what game it was. Uh, yeah, I am going to try and get Borg working. I do have it. No promises. I've heard it's a bitch and a half. So we will see what comes of that. 
but I do have it. Um, but I, I don't know. We'll see. There's so many options. This Josh just overloads me with classic gaming goodness, and I don't know how to handle it. So bear with me here as I make sure that this takes. Hopefully. All right, we're back. And let me see how this goes. I did the thing. Carry on, game. Goosebumps was two disc, and it was always a pain in the ass. No, that is that is CD2, actually. Game. Yep, disc two. Says it right there. Clean as day. There it is. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to be a struggle because of the virtual machine. Come on. No, I did that. It's in there. Okay. Okay. Fuck, this is gonna suck if this trips me up here. I'm not that far in. It's only been half an hour. Come on. Son of a bitch. All right. Well. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hold, please. All right, I, I'm going to leave the mic on just so I can keep talking to you guys and I'll keep looking at chat while I try to figure out what the hell this thing wants from me. If I hit cancel, I feel like that's going to boot me out of the game and I don't want that. So let me try and finagle this just a little bit more and if worse comes to worse, we will try. Oh my god, zip drives. Zip drives is terrible. It's the one that you want. Just take it. Just let it happen. Game. It's like auto-ejecting. I was like, no, just keep it in there. Did that work? Nope, that did not work. If I hit OK first and then put the disc in, is that what you want? Tell me what you want, old PC game. Tell me. My CD drive is definitely reading it, mostly. I was not prepared for this at all. Oh, that sucks. Lay sad day. Ha 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 ha. I don't know, guys. This could be terrible. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Let's just, uh, Spice Girls Reunion Tour is apparently a thing that's happening. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, good. Yep, so if I hit cancel, that just kicks me straight up out of the game. So I really hope that's saved. All right, so let me just see if I can get it to accept the CD into its heart when the game is not running. I wonder if I have to reboot. I wonder if I can't switch CDs via virtual drive once the VM is running. All right, new plan. Restart. Here you go. Here's some good old Windows nostalgia sounds for you guys. <laughs> In college, it was a requirement for my audio design courses. I had to use it in my final project. Sad, sad days. All right, here we go. Rebooting that beautiful virtual machine. Life's going to be good. We need to switch up our please stand by because it's probably, I mean, probably ping when I'm still on the mic with you guys. That's just awkward. Nobody wants that. Or at least nobody wants to pay extra for that, I'm sure. All right. Boop. Start, please. And accept the CD that I give to you. Uh, I wish I could click these links that Vit keeps throwing in chat. I'm going to have to scroll back through and uh, catch up on all of these little tidbits. <laughs> I 
there was a really great um somebody took some video on a roller coaster the guy riding the roller coaster next to them every time they'd about go down a drop he would literally just pass out and then regain consciousness and then they go over another hill and he'd pass back out and they kept doing the windows boot music and it just killed me i don't know why it made it that much funnier all right so now it's reading the cd now will you play um i could slurp my drink play okay we might be good we'll see one second let me bring you guys back in Right. I just love that. It's such a good jam. I'm into it. Please continue to work. Ooh, my rank is star. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. Play? Woohoo! Victory! Fuck these old games. <laughs> How could they all be caught? The dimwits? Because I'm awesome, like Carmen. jailbreak. Carmen San Diego style. Oh come on! Seriously? A few tweaks to the Chrono Skimmer, and I'll be there in no time. No, just get her. She's in the jail. Arrest. You fools need bailing out. I see. I'll just Chrono Skim you past those outdated bars. What? Stand back. So I just have to go catch them all again. I have more history hijinks planned for us. So, so we're just gonna start weekend. over. Because apparently there's nobody in the jail to catch her when she just shows up in the jail that I'm trying to put her in. Alright. Yeah, I'm with I'm you, Chief. I've got a major bummer bulletin. Carmen San Diego has just chrono skimmed into Acme Jail and then back out again with her <laughs> And then we just redo toe. it. <laughs> Brian maintains Our that the way around time travel heist is to just murder people yes. in the womb. No. We've reinforced the prison with transtemporal laser bars. Oh, so another upgrade. Jailbreak can't happen. They got upgraded to that new new. Of course, now those crooks are back out there pilfering paraphernalia from the past. They must be uh, Props to this lady for nailing all of these ridiculous the lions. Pilfering right projects from the past, Your person, private, pa 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 pa. Where something strange has happened. Quiet in again. The Empire's accounting. You'll have to straighten out this naughty problem. When you're visiting the center hey, of the Hey, Anne. Empire, Antiquity. Antiquity is the good guy you want on your side. A uh, quiet good game or quiet me. And don't get lightheaded in that mountain air. Let's keep the game volume up again. You know, you'd think they'd serve more than just a snack on these long time flights. Antiquity here. If you're feeling <laughs> it's woozy, miscoliosis. it's the altitude. Hey guys. Way up on top of the she's like the reverse SpongeBob meme. She's just leaning back. She's like, not everybody can have the straight spines, guys. And that's Emperor <laughs> Pachakuti Yupanki over there. Whoa. The head honcho of the Inca Empire. One more time. May the mighty sun scorch the demon's eyeballs. Someone has stolen my keepers. My keepers. All of our records lost. Not the keepers. My empire will fall apart at the seams without them. Whoa, he is losing it. We'd better investigate this situation. Yeah, I mean, yeah, don't upset the Aztecs, man. All right. Cool. So here we are. Round two. Oh, look at the little guinea pig. Oh, look at the furry guinea pig. Cute little guy. What do you call it? Dinner. No. Oh. That's a cooey, of course. A cooey. With a little corn and plenty of salt, they are most tasty. And why is oh, it just chilling at your feet? Sorry, I asked. Uh, guinea pigs can be tasty. Well, Carmen Whoa, note. Hey, Bam. that's a Carmen note. The thief was here. Yeah. Pacha, how uh, did she said it once, and I missed it? Pachacuti. Pachacuti's tears and sweat have made his reign the greatest yet. Cool. Pachacuti Yupanqui. I My like it. My administration is in a shambles. <laughs> the outer regions My administration. are crumbling. Oh, that's it. All right, all right. Guinea pigs. Not from Guinea. Say your name. Say your name, say your I name. I am the great Pachacuti, ninth ruler of the Inca Empire and descendant of the gods. 
Do you guys find it really interesting how all of these great leaders just are like, yep, nope, I'm descended from a god. Gods. Gods totally put me here. I am in charge because gods. Well, we I'm on a mission because god. All day. But I'll tell you this. I'm the greatest Inca leader ever. My armies have conquered lands to the north and the south. My empire now includes million. over 12 million it's people. It's over 9,000. <laughs> wow, how did it get so big? <laughs> Terrible. Terrible, this is a children's well, game. first I rebuilt Cusco here, the capital of the empire. <laughs> then Cusco? I really okay. got busy. Now I see where uh, the last emperor terraces, might be. Nah, that's religions. not the emperor's new group, not the last I emperor. I pride the myself hell? on an efficient empire. I am the great Cornholio. Uh, yeah, I'm totally descended from a god. Let me tell you how to live My your life. My keepers have been stolen. My keepers. Without them, I can't keep track of things in my empire. What's a kipus? A kipu is a long strand of knotted string used to record numbers. It is very exact. I use right. kipus to track all important Can numbers. Can you imagine tracking the population empire, of 12 like million with knots on a rope? Inventories of food. That seems... Why do you keep it? Because I like to know how much I have to eat, you don't see, you? Get it together, Anne. All food made by the people is collected here in Cusco. Then, if a particular region is struck by famine, I can send them some food from my royal stockpile. But without the keepers, <laughs> I don't know how much food I supplies, have without my knotted rope. Distribute things. Yeah, question. I'm questioning this uh, this godchild well, here. Well, since the theft of the kipus, my kipu kamayaks have been working over. <laughs> These words are amazing. Everything. That is so much fun. Kipu kamayaks. These accountants could really use some help. Kipu kamayaks. Oh, I love it. Go to the storerooms and speak to my head, Kipu Kamayak. He will tell you what to do. That's fantastic. I've never heard that word before. It might be one of my new favorite words ever. I'm human. I just excel and can apparently keep better books than a god. Yeah, true. All right, cool. Kipu woven fabric. That's pretty. I'm going to click on that. That tapestry is woven from the wool of the llama. Wonderfully warm, that llama wool. Perfect in these cold mountain regions. Cold. It's so burr. Uh, pottery. See that pot? The Incas were a remarkably advanced culture, but they never got around to inventing the wheel, even pottery wheels. Huh. Pottery was made by coiling clay in strips I didn't know instead that either. of spinning it. Interesting. Interesting. I like that his chair, like, he's just waiting for, like, people to show up and pick him up to carry him. <laughs> oh, he just excels at it. Inca stonework was a marvel to behold. The carved stones fit together so closely that mortar wasn't even needed wow, to hold things together. That is impressive. Amazing, huh? No mortar. Good thing there was no big bad wolf to huff and puff. Bridges. Those rope bridges are sturdier than they look. The I don't know, man. I watch Game of Thrones. I know not to walk chasms, on rope bridges during and some a storm. stretched out for 200 feet or more. Wow. Yeah. Ugh. Anxiety. All right, let's go to the storerooms and talk to the Kipokamayak. Goodbye. And remember, millions of my hungry citizens are counting on you. I guess it's not easy ruling over 12 million hungry people. Talk about job stress. Yeah, well, such is life. Look at a rope knotter. Counting frames, buildings. For me to go and bridges to cross. I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. These knots <laughs> are wearing me out. We'll never Wheels would have been perfect for stopping time. smallpox. They could have like gotten their little chariots and rode away. Oh, Europeans and their plagues. Yes, I'm the head Kipu Kamayok. I'm in charge of all the Kipus and all the counting. <laughs> So you're the jerk who let it get stolen. I see. I'm on to you, buddy. I count everything. <laughs> Not only the number of citizens, and now we're just having Sesame Street flashback. Storms. Take one, two, three, four. I get one, so two, three, four. Sometimes I have to count llamas before I can fall asleep at night. Because sheep, llamas, you know. What are you counting After today, good death, friend? I'm trying to recount all the goods in the storeroom. We oh, corn, that's why I get to go in all the buildings. And cotton here. But how much of each? I'm just not sure. Well, then go count them. It's a kipu. 
I have to knot hundreds of them to replace the ones that were stolen. Hundreds of kipus. Each of the knots has a number value, as does each color of string. By oh. tying different knots on different colored strings, I can record exact numbers. Interesting. Like the number of llamas in the empire, for example. They could have hopped on wheels and ridden away. Their empire was in Chile, mountainous territory. Yeah, because I agree with you doesn't make me right. Uh, my my ancestry is from Panama, and uh, so it's like this big, and there's, I don't think, a whole lot of mountains. Uh, not that I've ever been there, but... Well, I was trained I to do know. this in school, but it's not too hard. It's all in the fingers, really. <laughs> it's all in the hips. All right. How can we help Easy. you by counting things? I bet. See those storerooms? Please count Called everything it. inside each one. We're gonna then use our numbers, number guys. By putting corn kernels on the nearest counting. Yeah, frame. toboggans also don't have wheels, so I don't think you're really helping your argument right now, Bray. <laughs> oh, oh see, now goodness. I just have newfound glory you stuck in my head. Enter the storerooms without just the like image permission. of like. Incan people Wondering with knotted ropes on toboggans here, singing you know? newfound Maybe glory. Maybe explain that we're here to help. He thinks we're thieves. No, I asked how we could help. What is it this time? Oh, come My on. ulcer is already aggravated with wow, bad Wow, you have an news. ulcer. Get some uh, llama milk for that, bro. Sure. By putting corn kernels in the empty spaces on the counting frame, you'll Ooh, record we get a big handful numbers. of corn. Here's a big so what happens if you corn. knotted the corn kernels into the kipos? Then what? Uh, yeah, explain this corn mama, method to me. I cannot give you any more of my time. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, well, fine, dude. The counting frame is a and then you give me more of your time anyway. Into a grid. By filling in some of the boxes, you can record numbers. Okay, wait here. I'll run a quick count. Oh, God. She's gonna do it for me. Thank God. I counted 1,574 ears of corn piled in there. I know. I'm a really fast counter. It's a gift. 1574. Okay, let's use that counting frame. All right. Use the counting frame to mark down the number of corn cobs in the storeroom. Um. What? Use the counting frame to mark down the number of corn cobs in the storeroom. One corn. I don't. I don't understand this at all. What? All right, let me just digest this really quick because all I can see are six-sided dice and I'm not really sure how that helps. All right. I, what the hell? Okay, bring, bring it back, corn. Help. How do I get 1,574? Alright, I'm gonna go with one. Five. Seven. Four. There's a corn kernel there already. No, okay. See? Four. That right? By your markings on the counting frame, nope. you've indicated there are 4,750 nope. so it must go this way? ears of corn in the storeroom. That doesn't seem to match my count. I don't understand how that works again. at all. All right. Try putting one kernel. I think he'd tell you what number you wrote without telling, telling you you're wrong. He did do that. Okay, let's use that counting frame. Use the counting frame to mark down the number of corn cobs so in the So how is he storeroom. getting four as the first number? That's what I want to know. How about if I just move this? Then what? By your markings on the counting frame, oh, so you've indicated moving. there are 4,750 two ears of corn <laughs> 50. in the That doesn't two. seem to match my count. We yeah. better try again. Yeah, I don't okay, know how this works here. Let's use that counting frame. Bottom to use top. The counting oh, frame to mark oh. down the number of corn cobs 1, in the store. All right. Bring this corn back, top to bottom, 1,570, what was it, 72? 
74. 1,500. Shit, I completely forgot what my actual number was now. 72. How about that? I see. So you say there are <laughs> one. He's so skeptical. He should be skeptical. I have no idea what I'm doing. Two years of corn in the storeroom. That doesn't seem to match right, my count. What was your count again? We better try again. Seventy-four. All okay, right. Let's use that counting frame. Use the Four. counting frame to mark down the number of corn cobs in the storeroom. Yep, yep, yep. All right. How about now? I see. So you say there are one thousand five hundred seventy-four ears of corn. That's correct. Will you do the same All for right, the other thank storms? you. I have so much to do. Other cultures are so weird. Hang on to your hat. I'll be right back. 3,029 potatoes. The spuds were really flying in there. 3,029. Okay, let's use that counting frame. All Please right. indicate the quantity of potatoes in the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3,020. Let's see. One, two, three. That's five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. I see. So you say that much quicker once I know how the block works. Nine potatoes. Potatoes. You have done a great service. Don't stop now. He does not want me to stop servicing him. You all heard it. He said it. I'll be back in he a flash. He said it. There are six hundred twenty-eight piles of cotton in there. It's a shame the Incas don't know about <laughs> t-shirts. Yeah, whatever. 600, I told it. 628, was okay, that the number? let's use that. Please record the number of cotton plants here, based on the storeroom inventory. 628. 28. According to what you've marked on the tablet, there are... Woo! Kendra learns to count in Incan! Excellent work. You are rather happy. No, I am not. Friend. I am not handy. Now please go tell Pachacuti that we are finished at last with the storeroom inventories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I counted your shit, bro. Hello bruh. again, my faithful friends. What news have you? You got lots of stuff. Ah, my profound thanks for your clever counting skills. I am so but clever. There remains one more important task to complete. Can you help me with it? Nah. I need to transport some food to a distant village suffering from famine. A hundred potatoes. Please gather about a hundred potatoes from my royal storerooms and load them I like he's like, we have corn, but y'all just get straight potatoes. We're complete, not going to mix so and match. You get no variety. Straight potatoes. That's a hundred potato bag. I grabbed exactly 115 purebred potatoes and stuffed them in this sack. We're good to go. Very good. But oh. before you go, please adjust the counting frame to match the reduced number of potatoes in the royal storeroom. All right, there now we get to do math. Fifteen potatoes crammed in there. No, Let's no, no. We have to do the thing. Counting frame. Hmm. We still have three thousand and twenty-nine marked here. We'll need to account for the one hundred and fifteen potatoes we bagged. Oh my God, I'm yeah. No, I'm totally cheating. Totally cheating. Not even sorry. All right, so we have 3,029 minus 115, because I use all my math up at work, you guys. That's what I do for eight hours a day is math, and I can't. It's the same reason I swear on these streams, even though this is a kid's game. Uh, I use my filter entirely during my workday. I have nothing left to give. Uh, 2914. 29... 14. Let's see, it's 29, 4, no, 10, right? No, 14. Haha. <laughs> yes? According to what you've marked on the tablet, yes. there are. Let's see. Apparently, this Incan civilization is in Ireland. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. When Van Damme was a time you cop, he didn't have to do anyone's math to homework to get justice. All the potatoes taken from the storeroom. Because potatoes only come from Ireland. I mean, I don't know that they don't. I don't honestly know where potatoes originally came from. Is, are potatoes just nationwide? International-wide? Worldwide? Mr. Worldwide? Pitbull? Potato? What is happening? Alright, let's... <laughs> Hold sack of potatoes. 
or keep the sack of potatoes or give them to Ann to carry. Are you my llama? Can you be my llama? That sack of potatoes has some llama's name right, on it. Apparently Let's that go. llama's name is not antiquity. How about I just carry the potatoes? Watch your step on the rope bridge. It's a long way down. I just carry the down. sack of potatoes across a rope bridge about 200 feet chasm wide. Oh my god, now I have to pick... Here, llama, you don't have anything. You get to be this. Perfect fit. Yes. Let's head back to Pachacuti and let him know the llamas are loaded and ready. These llamas do not give a shit about anything. Llamas are essential beasts of burden in the high mountains. They, wanna be they were so your valued beast that the Incas burden. didn't use them for wool or meat until they died of natural causes. Nice. Can you imagine like an old aged llama would be some pretty stringy shit? Hey, those llamas must be good luck. We found a C note. Pachacuti's tears and sweat have made his reign the greatest yet, but none of these have quite the glint of something useful in a mint. Ooh, is it gold? I love gold. Uh, let's see. Llama, sack of cloth, sack of gold. There it is. I bet that's where the criminal's hiding. I'm calling that it now. That sack contains gold, which the Incas called sweat of the sun. Gold was bountiful in the Inca Empire, and the great surplus gave the Spaniards an unhealthy interest in Literally an unhealthy interest. Nice smallpox joke. Vit beach it to it, though, antiquity. Smallpox has already been Hello established. Hello again, my faithful friends. What news have you? Your llamas are loaded. No, no. Thanks to you, I now have the empire running smoothly again. Oh, but he has got the last C note. I bet it's in the gold sack, Llama. Uh, tomatoes are a seeded fruit, and nightshade Holy is a seeded Mama, flower, Llama. so tomatoes. It's the third Carmen note. Oh, yeah, I missed some cool stuff. I forget if it was them or tomatoes that people refused to eat. Yeah, no, tomatoes. I'm pretty sure I knew that. Uh, people have actually grafted tomatoes to potato plants. Really? How would you pronounce that? Potomato? Or tomato potato. Hide beneath tears of the moon. Shit, that's not gold. That's sweat of the sun. All right, tears of the moon. I'm activating the cuffs. Watch out, villain! Here we come. Let's go back to the llama field. That's... This road is part no, of the I don't, sophisticated highway. I don't want to learn about the road. I want to go to the storerooms and then to the llamas. And what, let's see, sack of gold, sack of cloth, sack of corn, sack of silver, must be Tears of the Moon. I'm not even going to, I'm just going to do it. Smart move. Yeah. Silver was called Tears of the Moon by the Incas. So Got it. Thief must be hiding Haven't had to look at the Acme silver. Handbook or ask Antiquity nothing. Oh, don't do that to the poor llama. Time for a high energy high five. Wow. We've Jane reaction getting reaction. nabbed two cases in a row like a bitch. She is so fired. You are headed back to the Acme lockup, Potato, pomato, and with its patented tomatato, new laser bar security, potomato. you won't I like be escaping potomato. again. Uh, you've caught up with me again, agents. The but cuffs you'll match never the collar. accelerate fast enough for a collision with Carmen. Congratulations! You re-jail Jane reaction, recaptured the accounting keepers, and fixed food distribution for the whole Inca So Empire. much alliteration! I love it. Thanks to you. Inca Empire saved. And wide. What's up? And speaking of empire builders, Carmen has already pulled another time heist. Of course she has. She's pulling the them all right simultaneously now? because time. Yes, another case. Another day, another dollar. Pew pew. You're speeding toward the coast of Spain in 1493, where an Atlantic Ocean traveler is lost at sea. The folks who financed his trip are mooch. This Christopher worried. Columbus. So you better try to find out what's causing the delay. Or is that 1492, 1493? Rock is salad. Solid you. Yeah. So he'll come along as your good guide. Good luck, detective. I oh, I'm sure a detective now. Are we on the Santa Ana, the Santa Maria? I don't know. We hit Spain in the year 1493. That must be Queen Isabella right over there. You know, Isabella earned a place in history by supporting the exploration. Oh, I called it. Columbus. But Big at old the moment, CC. the senior senora looks royally upset. Disaster. Royally pissed. Columbus has not returned from his voyage to China. I can only guess that he has been lost at sea. My advisors warned me and that his plan would sink. 
Hey, it sounds like one of Carmen's crooks has put a crimp in Columbus's plan. So much. Let's talk with the queen and see what we can do. The queen. My queen. She's the queen. She will show me the way. Greetings. You are welcome in the royal court of Carmen Spain. wants to get her money Although just honestly. She can travel in time when I just go back after the lottery numbers are drawn every night. Why are you trying to apply logic to this? It's an educational game. She's in history so that kids can be taught about history. It's what she does. Thanks, Carmen San Diego, for educating me about kipos and knotted ropes and printing presses and Nordic runes and so on and so forth. See, they're very polite to the queen. I am Everybody Isabel, else is like, who are you? Queen of Spain and ruler of Castile Why does she have to steal the Aragon? fourth pope's petrified species? <laughs> or some shit. Or some other shit, I guess, would be the proper way to say that. <laughs> All right, I'm abandoning chat for the moment. My husband, the Ferdinand, and I made this a great nation. By uniting many warring groups in the country, we created the powerful United Kingdom Spain of Spain. Spain is something to be reckoned with. Why are you troubled, my lady? Christopher Columbus sailed away eight months ago to find a westward route to China, the but he has that. not returned. Sail away, I fear sail his away, decision sail to away. sail west was not the best. West is best. If Columbus is safe and sound, he must be found. He sailed west, so you must too, to find him. You may take this ocean map for the westward oh, good. journey. Maps of the world. Cool. Most sailors reach China by sailing around Africa and heading east. The world is round. I like that's that like since 1493. The round, I'm like, no, the world's China round. Everybody knows. Instead. And here we are in 2018, and there's still people that are like, but are you sure? Like, are you all the way sure that it's not just flat? Or like, really, are we sure? Let's debate this. And by debate this, I mean make Facebook groups and echo chambers. I'm searching for the fastest trade route to China. I'm not against teaching children logic, but you can't mostly teach children logic. You can teach them facts. Marco Polo, I don't know. indeed. His route runs across land and takes far too long. A sea route to China will be faster. And ships can carry more goods than camels. Got a point. The Portuguese already have an eastward sea route, so I hope to find a faster way to the west. Oh yes, it's always a race. I can't wait for the part where they have to eat time pods. <laughs> oh yeah, they're probably not even going to touch on it. Avoid the winds to the north. We the call them the westerlies because they blow from the west and push sailing ships eastward back to Europe. All right. Try heading south, where you may find more favorable winds. Things that you don't really appreciate that people had to think about back in the day, where it's like, yeah, I have no idea what's that way. Guess we're just going to set out into the ocean wide and see what happens. Pick up the chart. Yes, I'd like to read this ocean map, please. That's the ocean chart Queen Isabella gave us. Yep. Uh, so we just... Off Those drapes, drapes okay. are made of silk brought all the way from China. Oh, because China silkworms. I remember that part. Silk, and I just had to have it. All right. Flat Earth comments. Oh, good. My favorite Flat Earth video was a kid who spun a wet ball and was like, see, it can't be round and the water would fly everywhere. What? That doesn't even make sense. That's better than NASA has snipers at the edge of the world. Oh, my God. To prevent people from seeing it. Uh, honestly, Good if the world is flat, cats would have pushed ocean. everything off the edge of it by now. And that's and the proof in the pudding right there. Back. Everybody knows. I will go back and remain sheltered from the flat We're earth crazy. Ready to cast yeah. off. But first, let's learn to navigate. Use the mast to adjust the sail. What? When the sail is open, we'll blow with the wind. But when the sail is closed, we'll drift with the current instead. This is way when too much ready, for me. When you're ready, ring the ship's bell to start moving. I don't. Bottle in the you water. You found a message in a bottle. And it looks like part of Carmen's note. Message Keep this up and we'll bottle. have Carmen bottled up I'm so up out of whiskey. I keep enough. picking this glass up like there's going to be something in it. When the crime is done, use all of your smarts to seek and sneak inside the room of charts. I... Um... All right, I'm going to try and get through this before I go get more whiskey and bathroom break. So, open the sails. Close the sails. 
What? These barrels are full of dried meat and peas. The same food Columbus used. Yay for that, I guess. Uh, Bell. Okay. The ship's compass always spins to point north. It might help us make good headway. So we need to go left. I guess, let's go. Um. Smooth move. The compass says we're now pointing west. Let's observe the wind and yes, the current. Yes, let us observe. The wind is heading west, and the current is going east. Columbus is somewhere to the west, okay. so the wind. He's gonna talk like me through bet. this. I'm Try gonna opening the sail to catch the wind, then ring the bell. This is a very simplified. When the sail is closed, we'll drift with the current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the sails bell. Aye, aye, Captain. The sail is open, so westward Sailing, blowing. Sailing, guys, will now be it's going. this easy. Hold on to your hat. Also leaving out the Greeks had proved the world was around ages before Columbus was born. Good sailing. Yeah. Captain. Hey, Molly, the what's up? Is at your command. Not to mention Whenever leaving out Leif Erikson. Yeah, no, we talked to him last time. Um, leafing out Leif Erikson. Uh, let's see. Research for a new puppet. Yet another puppet. Tuesday night surprise puppetry with Zantetsuka and a Molotov blonde. Always a good time. Uh, let's see. I totally forgot what he said. Yes, detective. Oh, okay. Let's just go west again. Boop. Oh no. Did it blow me backwards? After that move, we're now easing eastward. No. Forward. Oh, now I let the current take me. That's right. At your behest, we're now pointing west. Everything I don't need to sound drive. like a windbag, but when the sail is open, all right, let's just drift. South. Yes. We're now pointing to the south. When the sail is closed. No, oh, I know. Just like that. There we go. Come on, guy. Come on. Uh, surprise puppetry is totally a thing. All right. I forget. Where am I going? Wait. We're now aiming toward the wild, wild west. Let's just let that happen then. Yes. At your behest. More west? Where am I trying to go? We're now pointing to the south. Uh, let's close this for a minute. Let's see what happens here. Still south. All right. Ooh, shark. I don't know about that. I don't Ooh, quite a set of fangs on that fish. Maybe we'll save that swim for later. Yeah, let's not. Do nice that. exposure. That's a great view to the south. So south again. Cool. All right, now there's more sharks. Shark-infested waters were a constant menace to ocean-going ships in the 15th century. During shipwrecks, the smell of blood Ooh, in the water... I never thought about that, like a shark frenzy sharks. in the middle of the Yikes. ocean. Nice exposure. How about more west? We shall go west again. Oh, that was like a double jump. All right. Woo-ha! We found the tropical trade winds. The easterlies! Also the easterlies. These winds coming from the... Yeah, we're now pointing to the south. Just keep that open and... Let them... Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah, now we're off. We're now aiming toward the wild, wild... Nope, nope. Open again. Open again. West. Go west. Nice exposure. That's a great view to the south. Uh, yep. Let's go. Where am I going? All right. Yay. At your behest, we're now pointing west. Just go that way again. Boop. So I Land found... ho! But we have to head north to reach the West Indies where Columbus is stranded. All right. Can we just do that? There we go. And when the sail is sail. closed, we'll... 
Sail. <laughs> Woo! Oh shit! No. There's land ahead, but if we want to find Colum. Don't. Oh no! <laughs> shit. After that move. I want to go back. <laughs> it's in a circle. Son of a bitch. All right, now do I open the sails? We're now pointing to the. There we go, and now current. We're now aiming. I don't mean to sound like. Now just let the water drag me. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Just go. Ah, gotcha, bitch. All right, we've reached the West Indies. That was painful. Let's hit the beach and look for Columbus. Uh, yeah, Josh has Say, a side gig selling his body. A discovery of our own. Um, and we his body of Captain toys. Christopher Columbus. Rabble, rabble. Gentlemen, I assure you I have everything under control. After all, I'm a Christopher Columbus. Mm -hmm. I'll find a way home. Braggart. This scene feels sort of familiar. Hey, AKA the West Indies where Columbus set up a slavery a system, pillaged all their gold, the mutilated the men. Yeah. Mean a thing. Yeah, let's just act like this part of history wasn't super ugly and that Columbus is kind of a terrible person. That sturdy sea chest has a bad case of lockjaw. Too bad we don't have a key. Okay. Oh, my charts, my charts. I'm getting island fever without them. You mean these charts right here? The noble plains of Spain. Yeah, I, everybody wants you to go the back ocean too. The charts I created out of my westward voyage was stolen. And now my men are making waves. Jokes on they jokes on jokes. They refuse to sail back across the sea without a good map for navigation. Uh, who stole a your charts? Looking at thief, warned his way on board, posing as one of my crew. And oh, so you just call his crew charts. dirty. Everybody in your crew is dirty. One of my ships, the Pinta. Pinta. Pinta Punta. My sailors are a suspicious lot. They won't set sail until they see the charts I mean, that prove I know the way home. That's not really. That's pretty smart. I wouldn't want to set on a like months long journey across waters without charts and maps. Why I am a Christopher Columbus. It's a me, a Christopher I'm a Columbus. I'm the explorer who just discovered the fabulous in the west with the route to this place, China. No. Of course, this is China. No. I sailed directly west from Spain to get here. And everyone knows that there's no other land between Spain and China. Everyone knows. I'd prove it to you. Except someone stole my charts from everyone that sea knows. chest. I'm going to sail the oceans and make it to spaghetti. This? Whoever stole my charts left behind this strange scrap oh, of paper. Oh, let's not act like he discovered Hardly it again. We were here with the Vikings Say, that's a piece of the car forever ago. The thief must have dropped it in the chest when he stole Columbus's charts. Finding you would be a snap if you bring a different map. Here, take these stupid Sorry, charts. But I'm far too busy to sign autographs. What? Oh. All right, the map is safely inside. That's a load off my chest. That sturdy sea chest. We meet again. Hmm, interesting idea. I could check your ID against uh -huh. my charts. Yeah, everybody stole your charts. Captain, look at your chest. Oh my god, What's it's my charts! This? There's a chart in my chest. It's a All See, right, we can man. go, guys. Let's I, uh, totally ignore the fact <laughs> that uh, the mention, world is round and there's other land and let's just sail home. A second the map. That was a brilliant way to get Columbus to examine our chart. Now <laughs> Chris is the back idiot. Spain and we can join him. I suspect our we meet again now that I've turned 180 degrees once more. Europe, and we'll be there. Oh, it's good. good to be aboard ship again. Shall we take? I don't know. Don't oh, worry, bananas. we're stocked with plantains from the islands of the West Indies. Plantains are I delicious. I find them quite appealing. Plantains trip me out though, because like, the super ripe plantains are super sweet. But then I did, uh, I made plantain chips out of like the less ripe ones, and those are basically like potatoes. So it's really crazy to me that like it's basically a potato banana. You can keep your to tomatoes. I've got banana. Toes. Patananas. Plantananas. The ship's compass all. 
All right, cool, chart. I don't want to do this again, man. All right, so I guess we'll just go with the wind and open the sails. When the sail is and just off we go. Boop. And then we'll just let the wind take us. After that move, we're up. Up. We'll get those westerlies the going. Sailing north and let the wind blow us across the ocean. The compass is. La 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 la. Banana toast sounds like a painful. I don't have banana We're toast. We're now pointing to the south. I do not have banana toes. No, I don't want to go south. All right, so now we let the current take us. That's fine. I don't need to. Nope. Okay, so now wind again. After that move, when, when the sail is. Shh, shh. I know. I'm trying to sail the ocean blue. Oh, oh God. What the F is that? Good grief. I believe we found the Sagasa Sea. What? The compass is needling north, and we're matching it. What is the Sargasso Sea? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that is. I don't like it. North, yay. Oh my god, I don't like this is like creepy. The Sargasso vines. Sea is a widespread of seaweed floating in the Atlantic Ocean. Really? Sailors like Columbus thought a ship could get stuck if it sailed into the tangle. Lucky for us though, this Okay, that's good to know. I had never heard of that. Our ship is now no Sargasso Sea of Seaweed. I need a refill, I know. I'm oh god damn it. Alright. Nice exposure. Back north. And then current. Close the sail. Our ship is now. Bell. I meant for me, but I guess you can get one too. Yeah, no, I can't. I'm sailing right now. It's very important. Nice navig. I'm not north now. Damn it. We're now pointing. Oh, I'm the worst. We're now pointing. I wish it would tell me where I am before I get there. All right, so now we win. I don't mean to sound. The game wants me to play dance. Kind of. It kind of does, except it's less fun. All right, wind, and then wind again, and then current. The compass is neat. Yeah, we're sailing through the same areas again. Everybody knows it's fine. Totally fine. The compass is close. Bell. All right, I guess I'll just leave it closed for a while and see what happens. After that move, we're now easing eastward. Right. No. Closed. Closed. I wish it would tell me what the square I was on was going to do. All right, that's better. After that move. East is good. Oh, good. Yes, that. I'm the so close. Do I turn the sails back on? Are we getting brave? All right. That was a good move. After that move. I'll close it again. Nope. All right. Sail it aiming. is. When the sail is closed. I know. I know, dude. Sail. Play some AWOL Nation up in here for me, guys. Nice. Navig. After that move. Closed. Son of a bitch! Oh, I should have left it open. I was so close. We're now pointing. God damn it! All right. 
stupid wind. I want to go back. I'm just going to uncover every single block. That's my goal right now. <laughs> At your behest, just uncover the directions of west. every square of sea between America. God damn it. Nice exposure. All right, I should just let the current take me, apparently, but I'm not going to do that. After that move. Where are we going? Current take me. All right, we are going to go up by using the wind. Fuck these nice sharks. Navigating. Now we're aiming east. Thank you, Brian. Up. And then Our I... Our ship is now nosing due north. Take the sails again with the wind. Cool. And After that maybe move, let the current do this easy. one. I'm doing this so the hard way. God damn it. I just want to go to Spain. <laughs> Christopher nice Columbus exposure. is clipping through. That's a great view his... to the south. All right, this is a fail going the worst way we're now pointing to the yeah, side I know I know which way we're pointing I just don't know how I'm supposed to tell which way I'm supposed to go from here friend all right well this has been a cluster your behest we're now pointing west all right I can't see the one that I'm on that's awesome uh, so let's just sail in a giant circle and then we'll go all the way back to I don't mean to sound awesome wind uh oh nice expo uh oh yeah we're totally in the wrong place dude I know all right so now water we're gonna do this at your behalf it's happening all right, so then I'm going to do wind. Our ship is now nosing. And then wind again. We're now in. And then water. Right. Our ship is now nosing. Fire and earth need to get in here for some elemental bullshit. Then I need water. So now we need to just drift with the current for a while. Come on. Why? Not my favorite thing. Ship spell. Cool. That's good. And do that again. Nice. Now and that tells me nothing about the square nice that I'm on. Navigating. Now we're aiming east. Uh, let's just leave the sails on and see what happens. Fuck my life. Are you serious? Nice exposure. When the sail is closed. All right. This is getting to be insanity. At your behest, we're now pointing west. It shows which way the wind and current on each leg. But like the square that I'm on, how do I tell which way I'm going to go from this square? Like that's what I'm not getting, I guess. I have to like look at each step ahead. So I moved from here to here. That was cool. Yeah, I really, I don't, it's like not keeping the one that I'm on, which I don't love. I should, ah, I fucked that up. I should have lit my fucking thing. I'd have been home by now. I'm just uncovering the entire Minecraft. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I think I understand now. Damn it, I was not paying attention. Okay. They're making me think way harder than I want to think, and I want more whiskey. Sad day. I'm a bad sailor. I'm a bad teenage witch. I don't know why anybody watches this shit. Alright, so north. So now I'm facing to the west, right? Yes. So the current is going east. And the wind is going west. So I can either go, oops, 
forward or back. So I want to go forward. I want to go with the wind. Yes. Wind. And then... <laughs> Yay for being la dumb. We're now west. <laughs> this is constant payback for my crash streams. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Herp derp. Boy Scout leader, very nice. That was something I never got to do. I, I don't know if it, you can tell that, that I never was outdoorsy. I love camping, but never tracking or moving or... All right. So we're still facing west. Breeze is now blowing to the north, which is where I want to go. So we're going to leave the sails open. Shit. All right. That I knew. All right. We're going to leave... The now we want to close it because I want to close the currents. It. Oh no, I want to leave the sails open because I'm pointing north now. That's what I want. North is good. Ha ha! So now I want to close the sails. The compass is. I don't want to go backwards. Drift to the right. Fun. I can't believe it took me that long to get it. All right, sales. Nice, Navig. Right. So I still want to go north. So now I'm pointing east. I don't want sales. That's the wrong way. So I guess we'll just go with the current again. And now we'll drift. After that move, we're now easing eastward. Drifting. Drifting is good. Our ship is now nosing due north. So this is the part that sucks. So I want to go west. So I should let... Or no, east. I'm sorry. So I should open my sails again. It's still kind of difficult. I don't know. I'm re also ready for this to be over. All right. Wind again and wind nice again. Nice navigating. Now we're... In and then I should be done. Wind, take me home. Nice navigating. Now we're aiming... E you almost gave Alex a heart attack. Don't you fucking do it again. The compass is needling north, and we're matching it. All right. So now I want to keep my sails open and just ride those westerlies all the way home like a happy little piggy. After that move, we're now easing eastward. Right? Yes. And then I close my sails. And let the currents After take that me home. Move, we're now easing eastward. Thank God. Thank you for the tip. I was really not paying attention to the background at all. I should listen to the directions I'm given. Spain! World's most uh, painful seafaring voyage. Let's hurry back to Spain and hook that crook. Ugh. Columbus, you've returned. We thought the sea had swallowed you up. The sea is a no match. I don't know why anyone watches homes. this shit. We get another follow. <laughs> many great discoveries on my voyage, and I could not have returned without the aid of these helpful travelers. I play children's but games, now, and I'm not good at them. Let's turn to that new title and those grand rewards we discussed. Oh, I have a shit. better idea. Let's outfit some more ships and send you back. Mamma mia! <laughs> Again, more rape, more pillaging. Carmen note. I hope. Great grab. That completes the Carmen note. <laughs> the only chart with the New World's face should be your crafty hiding place. Hang on. I'll fire up the time cuffs for some arresting uh, so action. So I guess that's the actual world map? Eureka! Yeah. That's a map of the New World. The only map which shows the American continents. It's the one from Carmen's All note. Alright. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, just reach in there and rip that guy right out of the that was some Jurassic Park level music. Huh. We put the lid back on. Hello, Dr. Gregor. Literally. And this time our case is air. Jim Stewart Allen, Oregon Trail yeah, every day. The wind out of this you mean this Oregon sail, Trail right here? But I doubt if you'll put Carmen in jail. Every day. Oh man. 
Is he like absolutely pro at it by now? I would think. across the Atlantic, rescued Christopher Columbus, and put Dr. Bell Jar. This is kind of one of those like if you go back in time and kill Hitler, would you go back in time and actually save Christopher Columbus? I don't know. The biggest I'd like, population shift in the history I don't, of the planet I don't know if it would matter because they would never know the atrocities skills. that would be prevented and probably would just send somebody You're else. You're doing great work, and we need you to keep it up. Another crime has struck another time. Can you take the case? Yes, I can take this case, but I am going to give it just a hot minute, bio break, and uh, whiskey refills. I will be right back. Um, meantime middle of the stream plug for our steam code giveaway starting tomorrow make sure you guys are tuning in make sure you've got streamlabs widget active and you'll be earning gold coins to redeem for entries for the steam code giveaway of greatness doing that all week long and all of our rapscallion brigade regularly scheduled streams i'll be here all day on sunday giving you some bonus earning time and we'll also be debuting a new show the live uh live version live stream of boberg fat old balding retro gamers um essentially some mystery science theater-esque riffing and sucking and drinking while playing old games um sucking at playing the games not sucking and drinking and playing games that came out wrong <laughs> but it's a couple of members of rapscallion brigade that you guys don't usually get to see quite as often um steve and matt namely uh dave you can catch regularly on tuesdays with his puppetry surprise puppetry <laughs> along with molotov blonde but uh, a couple of our guys they're going to be streaming that live it had previously been a youtube recording that we'd been posting but uh we figured what the hell we let you guys in on the fun as it happened and we'll just be posting highlights from here on out so during that foberg stream we'll actually be doing times two coin earnage so make sure you check that out on saturday afternoon uh i will be right back for more carmen san diego bio break see you guys in just a minute toodles All right, back from the break, back to El Carmen, and uh, it's Friday! Woo! Gonna get lit! Um, I don't know, I gave my liver like a few days off from drinking when we got back from vacation, but it's, time, it's go time now. Super go time. And of course my cat waits until I get back in the chair to decide he wants back out. Colby. You can say hi. He's awful pretty. Come here. 
Just a Colby kitty. He hates being held, but he loves being pet. Can you dance? Can you dance? Meow, 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 and a meow, meow, meow. He hates life right now. That's all right. I still love you. Non-photogenic cat. Oh, we fucking goddamn Glenn and his fried chicken. Fried chicken dinner, specifically. Like, the whole dinner of fried chicken. Oh, man. Glenn is on hiatus from the Brigade. I choose to believe that in my heart. I'm waiting for his triumphant return. Meanwhile, back in time... What you got for me, Captain? You're heading for the height of Europe's renaissance. Florence, Italy in 1505. But where there should be a masterpiece, there's just a so lot of So we're only skipping moving. like, well, we were in 1493 and now we're in 1505. Like we've been jumping hundreds of years. Now it's like 15 years later in other Renee parts of Fox. Europe. Great painter and good guide. Good luck. And, and good guy. to keep your detective work in perspective. Haha, <laughs> because art perspective. Got it. I'm a perspective detective right now, you guys. Oh yeah, that's right. I hey forgot. There, Obese We're Mario is doing Mario? another guest appearance with Josh Italy, on Friday. 1505. Yes, it's a that is, all yeah, right. See, Glenn's around. That fellow over there is Leonardo da Vinci, my artistic idol. Hmm. I wonder why he stopped painting. Wow, this Mona Lisa is pissed. How about the smile, eh? A little one. What good's my picture going to be without oh, a smile? Oh, 1995. The smile's supposed to be the best part. Come on, girl, what just is smile. A what is a laughter? What is a happiness when a thief can march right in here and take advantage of the trust of a genius? I am not amused. Not amused at all. Okay. She is not amused. Ah, la, 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 la. I'm super excited. I miss Glenn. Bottom drawing, power top drawing, middle draw. Okay, that's a bad joke. What the hell is? I don't even want to know what this is. This is some BDSM shit happening right here. This poor clown. What is going on, Leo? The comedian machine makes this figure do silly things. The comedian Looks like machine. It's resting from jesting, though. Take a rest from your jest. Uh, what? Words. All right. Glad that we That's know what words are. That's handwriting on the tile. Talk about setting your words down in stone. All right. Words. I suspect Leonardo would write anywhere, even that time. Words, words, words. I think it's gonna be a couple hundred years before. <laughs> this is outside my area of expertise, but it looks to me like we're gonna need a cam wheel to move that piston rod up. This is outside my area of expertise, so let me explain to you exactly how this simple machine works. All right. Hello, I hope you haven't come to steal anything, because someone has beat you to it. <laughs> Why won't the model smile? I can't get my model to smile. Without because she's mad. Smile. No smile is how it makes girls pretty. If you just smile, ugh. I'm afraid I'm no good at telling just jokes. Just tell her a joke. I can paint, sculpt, design, and invent. But jokes have always eluded me. I'm a very serious man, you see. Uh-huh. Why won't you smile? I usually hire some amusing jesters, and the smiles last all day. But this morning, a strange night fellow came in and offered to build me a jesting machine what? using my own spare parts. That is the weirdest thing I've ever I heard. I love a clever machine, so I accepted. So, wait, so the thief came in and was like, I'm going to build you a comedy machine with this little puppet. And you're like, all right, that sounds legit. It worked at first, but then there was a commotion and the jesting just quit. The knight had vanished with my notebooks and damaged his machine that during jerk. the escape. Now the jesting machine is useless and Mona isn't smiling. Oh no. That would be most kind of you, as I'm very busy. <laughs> I like he's like, I'm an inventor, but right now I'm a painter, so I can't fix and there my are own plenty machine. Of spare parts in the other room. Awesome. Those schematics are all that remain of my stolen notebooks. The thief used them to build his That seems like so machine. much effort. This is like one of the weirdest contrived scenarios that we've done. That means we're right on track. 
They love the arts in Florence Fair, and for such things we thieves do care. Alright. Cool. Uh, what Hello else, Leonardo? Again. Can you believe that, that shoddy machine? I am a painter and a sculptor, but I'm also Oh, Leonardo was I pretty much the shit. I have a theory that the mechanical flight is actually possible. Do you think that's strange? Oh, no. Well, I don't like to brag, <laughs> I don't like to brag but, but let me lay it down for you. A flying you. machine, an armored vehicle, rapid fire, crossbows, paddle boats, bicycles, and the list goes on. <laughs> of course, these were never actually built, but they do look splendid on paper. Oh, the way that finger clicks weirds me out. The way that... F oh, oh, on the thing, I was like, what are you talking about? Because her hand right now, she's got like the shocker going on. And she also appears to be missing a thumb. She's got, like, frog hands. Like, I don't even know. It's like, live long and prosper. There we go. That's the Mona Lisa hand right there for you guys. Strange. Oh, no. Why is painting Hello important? Again. I need to know. Tell me, Leo. I believe that painting is actually a science. The science of painting. Da Vinci would have, like, five different Kickstarter campaigns at once. Use of yeah, can you imagine that man in this day and age? And wonderful Patreon here, GoFundMe the there, Kickstarter at the end. Who, what are, you, what are you talking about? Elon Musk is the Leonardo da Vinci of our day and age. His motherfucker put a like sports car in space because America. And the ability Privatized to space travel, guys. That's crazy. Canvas. Painters are indeed crazy. intelligent people. Cranky, but intelligent. So West Said. I generally get commissions. A commission is a project that someone asks for and pays me to do. I've done commissions for the de Medici family de and Med even de a Medici. few popes. The popes. All right, cool. We're gonna fix this machine. Tooth wheel, also called a gear wheel, uses evenly spaced cogs radiating from a circular wheel, resulting in a toothy appearance. The tooth wheel efficiently transmits circular motion from one optum. Use the smallest gear wheel. All right. Medium cam, smallest gear wheel, largest spring, <laughs> biggest spring is best spring. <laughs> All right, big spring, medium cam, small gear. All right, where is this other room that I'm supposed to go to? Ciao! Ciao! Check this room. It's laid out in perspective. Perspective is an art trick, allowing the representation of three-dimensional space on a flat surface. It should help us distinguish between the different size parts in this oh, room. Oh, I see what we're gonna... okay. This one looks good. Try using the spare part on a section of the jesting machine. If it fits, Wait. that jester will soon be jumping I thought I was going to move them into perspective so that I could see... Oh my god, this is not what I want. Uh, sorry, I can't... Okay. All right. Yeah, no, let's go back. Well, how... Boo. Alright, so this is the this biggest one looks spring good. because it's Try the farthest using away. Try part on a section of the jesting machine. If it fit. All right, and this was the bottom drawing. Good try, but that spring is way too small. All right. Let's try a lot. All right. So that's too small, so that must be the biggest this might spring. Work. Try using the spare part on a section. I thought it was going to be way far Bingo. away. Bingo! That's the right spring. <laughs> boing, boing, Things boing, really boing. really be bouncing now. <laughs> oh, Leonard Nimoy. The live long and prosper sign was a Hebrew letter shin for shalom. Seriously, ah, that's cool. Leonard Nimoy was awesome. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with his Bilbo Baggins music video. If you haven't seen that, probably stop watching me fiddle with gears and cogs and springs and just Google Leonard Nimoy and the Bilbo Baggins song. It's the best thing you will see all day, myself included. Like Nimoy tops out. It was the first time I'd ever seen him not be completely serious face Spock, like, ever. I'd never seen him be, like, an upbeat, happy, emotional person. He was always a Vulcan. Loved it. Oh, uh, let's see. Cam wheel. I forget what size. Is this little or small? Uh, smallest gear wheel. Okay. That one's pretty small. I'm gonna take that one. This one looks... And that goes on the top, on the top of the machine. Beep. The 
There's nothing wrong with that jest. Oh, fine. Right hand, left hand. That's nearly right, but this wheel has a real over. Smaller wheel. All right, I thought. Okay. All right. So not that one. This one, because it's closer to me. That's right. How about this one? Now that's there we what go. I call setting the Oh, we're so close. Motion. He's Let's almost juggling. <laughs> almost. All right, and then medium camshaft. There's so many. All right. This one looks medium. This one looks medium. The Ballad of Bilbo Baggins. Perfect fit. Yes. The piston rod is ready to start rocking. Echo, the machine is working again. Are you going to smile now, Biatch? <laughs> that's really not funny. It's Perfecto. so weird. That's just the smile Mysterious, enigmatic. Whatever. She looks bemused. Finished. That is the face of the Mona Lisa. Bear <laughs> bemusal. Mona, come with me. We're going to paint the town red. Whoa, that machine Back must have been the work of fun. a vile villain, since no one in this age made a machine that could really fly. All right. Uh, also, Leonard Nimoy did a lot of art with, um, like, nude, overweight women, which seems like a very specific thing. And, like, they're gorgeous. Like, he did some really cool shit with it, but just kind of a weird, very much like, no, I can't remember. I think it was photographs. I think he did photography specifically with that model set and just another kind of like never would have thought that of you because my only exposure to you as a person was spot karma note the thief must have dropped it while building the jester machine your taste your task today my clever crook will be to snatch da vinci's book <laughs> he said snatch uh body art i suspect leonardo would write that's da vinci's handwriting all right that's da vinci cool so now what do I do? Oh, here's a Carmen note. That makes Carmen note. This is a super one. While others spread about a smile, hide just beneath a loot drawn tile inscribed in Leo's writing style. Now the a loot. Oh, music. Sometimes a no. tile is just a tile. No loot here. Not a thing. A loot drawn tile. That's the one. The Chronopedia mentioned that Leonardo always used mirror writing, meaning he liked to write backwards. So if we oh. spin the tool on the tile, we end up with the loot. Gosh, that was kind of a lucky guess. So. I don't know how much you guys care about cats. Might are being really cute and playing right through the door with each other this right now. One night whose quest is over. I might let you now keep that. For the second time. <laughs> cats are so stupid. All right. 1500s bar for humor Back was low, to Acme right? Back jail for you, Servile. Perhaps we'll put that plate armor of yours <laughs> to good use this time as license plates. What do you do? Fine. I'm sorry. I have zero I have threshold for humor. I am the most but easily amused person you'll probably ever rogues. see. Lady Carmen still roams free. Lady Carmen. Well done, detective. You care a lot about you cats? All right. Survive again. Got now the hear me say cats. And now he's looking. Ah, oh, come with me. We're going on a himself. journey. Thanks to you. You're not laying through the door anymore the because you heard me say your name, didn't you? You asshole. Excellent. Are you an work, asshole? As usual. Cool. Yes, you are quite a worthy opponent. But yeah. in the end, I'll outsmart you. Kitty I've cat. got much grander plans All right, of course, as soon as I say anything, they Sounds see like me moving the camera, and they're like, ooh, the I'm going to come hang out over here with you. Right now. Kitty, kitty, mew! Yeah, I know, you're an idiot. All right, yes, one more case, because why the hell not? It's Friday. I'm only halfway through the second whiskey. Let's do this. Your next stop in time is the 16th century. They are the pretty cute. I have some pretty good boys. The century's most important Aztec ceremony should be starting right about now. Colby, but come instead here. of worshiping, 
There's just a lot Come on. of worry. You want to be a lap cat? See what's shaking. They always want to be lap cats when I'm in the Here middle of stuff, and then when they're invited, they just sit right on the floor, just like. No, one no, no, I don't want to be a lap cat. Like Anne, so you're in good hands. Thank you. Good I like this shirt a lot. Good uh, I never get to wear it at work, obviously, because it's uh, pretty see-through mostly. But I really do like it. Okay, wait. Now here we go. Ignore whatever is going. Shit. Now we're in a new thing. Uh, time traveling has got to be my favorite. And of course, they go right back to playing as okay, soon as I Grandstopper, should play the game. The year is 1519, Dicks. and we're in Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire in Central America. Looks As like Texas Incas galore. The empire is right over there. Montezuma. Oh, Didn't Montezuma have a C appearance. in his name? My formal feather headdress is gone. <sighs> hmm. Looks like Carmen's time crook has been at work. Let's find out more. Not the feathered headdress, no. All right, what do we got? <laughs> that big stone is covered in symbols representing myths and rituals of Aztec life. It's called the calendar stone. Imagine hanging that on the refrigerator. <laughs> that is one of my royal bird whistles. Is it a royal whistle or is it a whistle for a royal bird? I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Ah, my snake prized pot. pet snakes. We Aztecs fear snakes a little, but we also worship them. A oh, is it Quetzalcoatl? Is that the snake god, Quetz Quetzalcoatl? Quetzalcoatl? I think? Maybe? That's part of Carmen's note. Our thief obviously slithered yeah, through recently. Weren't we just in Central America? Nab the headdress. Go- Yes! Go full throttle. I'll soon return like Quetzalcoatl. I nailed it. Nailed it! That book is called a codex. It's a collection of symbols written on deer skin or tree bark. The Aztecs borrowed this writing style from a neighboring culture, as they had no writing system of their own. They're not going to mention that neighboring culture. That doesn't seem like an educational opportunity. All right, one second. Cat's being a dick and wants out now. One moment. Asshole cats, I tell you. Fuckers. Such cats. All right. Uh, cocoa bean pot. Those yes. cocoa beans are as good as gold. Really. The Aztecs use them as money and also to make hot chocolate. Now that's putting your money where your mouth is. Ah, yep. Cocoa beans. All right. Codex. The feather workshop or the royal aviary. Sensing a Greetings, big bird my friends. Here. If that headdress <laughs> doesn't turn up soon, heads are going to roll. So apparently I left a ponytail out, so now said ponytail is on the ground right in front of the door and there's this little gray paw from my other cat that just keeps hooking out from- <laughs> he's trying so hard and he can't get to it. Anyway, I'm gonna play this game now and not be drunk and worry about my cats. I'm such a cat lady, it's so bad. I am Montezuma, ruler of the mighty Aztecs. All the land around bows under my dominion. Oh, I'm yes, preparing Bow. for an important event, the Aztec Fire Ceremony. Is that like the Olympics opening ceremony? Anybody watching the Olympics? Once every 52 years. I feel like they got started before opening ceremony. ceremony. I'm not sure how to feel about tonight. that, because I thought that, that was the whole night. point of opening if ceremonies. If I don't perform the proper rituals while wearing my special headdress, the sun will burn out. Wow. I don't know, I don't know about that, bro. You are in the island city of Tenochtitlan from here. I rule the Aztec Empire and all its riches. Tenochtitlan sounds like fun. You should visit our great outdoor market. There, you'll find whatever your heart desires. Spare no expense. We Aztecs make no sacrifices. At least, not in the marketplace. <laughs> because human sacrifice. Get it, guys? Get it? That's what I mean. Like, they don't explain that. And little kids probably won't get it. That's such a grown-up joke. You can buy cocoa beans, fur, feathers, gold. It's one-stop shopping. All of your a needs. A heisted my royal headdress and headed out of here. If I don't get it back, <laughs> I can't perform the rituals tonight properly, and the world will come to an end. Dun, dun, dun. And here I thought the Aztec calendar said the world was going to end in, like, 2015. Or is that the Mayan calendar? 
or the Incan calendar, or the American Christian cult doomsday calendar. I cannot I keep all these end of days straight. But the feather worker who makes His missing nipples, right? The coop. It's, it's like our Egyptian boatman from our very first scene. Would you like to know more? Yes. Tweak the non-existent nipples. Yes. Go to the feather worker. It is place. pretty warm, probably. So that probably isn't helping the situation of the nipple identification. Those pots contain cocoa beans, which we Aztecs use to make our favorite drink. Hot chocolate. We love cocoa beans so much that we use them like money. I mean, I like chocolate enough to use it like money. Can we all get on board with chocolate as money again? That seems like a good basis for society. Nothing special. You are welcome to take them. He's just giving me money. What? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take these cocoa beans. Uh, let's go this way. Because why not? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. I'm a birdie bird. The wing feathers of an owl are so soft that the bird makes no noise while flying. Eerie. <laughs> Parrots live in the jungles and forests of Central America. The forest. Who says forest? It's a forest. That Quetzal bird sports shining feathers, which the Aztecs adored and collected. Can I pick one? That Katinga feather is a prized possession, used exclusively in royal Aztec garments. It's time to de-quill that bill. Can I have it? That Katinga... No, okay. What beautiful feathers. So he has just one feather? Can I give him cocoa beans? Nope. Okay. Have you ever heard a macaw caw? They're quite loud. And then a random eagle. The eagle became one of the central symbols of Aztec culture. Legend has it the sight of an eagle carrying a snake inspired the founding of Tenochtitlan. Okay. The Aztecs were excellent weavers, using feathers, cool. beads, and other items to decorate objects. Oh, everybody has their own cloak. That's adorable. This must be where the birds eat when they're hungry. Can I use the cocoa on that? No? Okay. Well, that All was right. useless. Back to the palace. Off Farewell. to the feather workshop. What a mess! Some scatterbrain left things scattered all over the place. <laughs> scatter, scatter. Scatter makes scatter face. Oh, so that must be all the feathers. Nope. Bad fit. Oh, I have to, like, actually match them. Okay. That's better. It's all part of the plan. Nope. Bad nope. fit. No, no, no. Goes right there. And you go straight up and down. And you're just off to the side. And then I need to get that blue one back from that other guy. I see where this is going. I'm on to you, Carmen San Diego. I see where this is heading. A gold nugget. It's a fancy headdress. Uh, I believe the answer to that question is yes, Molly. I believe Alex hmm, and Vitno are one and the same. Out of place there. Oh, I got it in the wrong slot? Are you serious? That's bullshit. They're all the same fucking thing. <laughs> Seriously. We're off to the marketplace. Alright, I'm off to the marketplace where I'm gonna buy some shit. Like feathers. Those terraced steps give that temple a classic Aztec look. <laughs> classic Aztec. Hey, lady. Good afternoon. I am Iktomato, the best trader in this great marketplace of <laughs> I am the best trader in all of Tenochtitlan. Lucky us. Why everyone comes to the Tenochtitlan market? It's the place to be. Traders arrive daily from the farthest corners of the Aztec Empire. Do, 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 do. Are those ah, fine products on the ground? Have good taste if you're admiring my goods. Such a sweet train. I have delicious maize grown right here. Corn. Oh yes, I'm gonna need one corn and one feathers. Cocoa beans are the magic item around. Here. Corn? Oh, you <laughs> mean my maize? <laughs> no maize corn. Nobody says corn around it here. Is grown on Chinampas. Chinampas? Chinampas are man-made islands. Oh, that's we right. We Aztecs use them because the more... 
I need to keep a close eye on that maze. That's right. So I'm gonna buy one feather. Excellent. What would you? Feathers. Oh, does it matter what shape the feather is? Shit, I didn't look at that. Wow, that was really fast hot chocolate. Bye. All right, I need to buy the right feathers. So Back first, let me bell. get the bird feathers. Goodbye. Give me, give me the corn. That won't work. The maze will scatter before the. Into the bird okay. feeder. We fed. No, that that. Katinga feather is. No. What beautiful. Is that not what y'all want? This must be where the birds eat when they're. Why don't they eat? Shit! I thought I had that figured out. That Katinga feather is a. Pro so he's holding on to his own damn feather. All right, back to the palace. That's pretty up and down feather. Farewell. Very slim. So that one's going here. All right. So I need the green feather. That's like eh. We're off to. Quetzal feather. Excellent. I think that's gonna be this one. I think I had it right. Cool. Bye. Bye. Boop. All right, how Back do I palace. get this bird? He got tired of the handle pronunciation discussion. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. Katinga. This must be. All right, I fed the birds. Like Mary Poppins style, what the hell? Give me what I want. That Quetzal bird sports shiny. What beautiful feather. All right, and what am How I doing I here? Help? Birds have a fondness for their particular bird calls. Oh, the bird All whistles. Right. Oh, 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 oh. That is one of my. You are welcome. Oh, I can only do Goodbye. one at a time. Oh, god dang it. That bird can't blow a bird whistle. Oh, give it Let to her instead. Don't put the whistle on the bird. <gasps> a hoot for a Alright, so that's All the right. owl. That Is it this one? Yeah, let's go there. Goodbye. Blow the whistle. He likes my whistling, I guess. All right. That's All right. Not the right one. There aren't any birds about. Ah, seriously, I have to do these one at a time. Goodbye. That's stupid. All right. Why, hello to you too. All right. So not that one. Not that one. Go back. Go back, I say. Talk about whistling. All right, it's not those two. Goodbye. <gasps> oh, macaw. I... All right. All right, so I've gotten all three of them on that side that I didn't want. Goodbye. Get to hear all sorts of. This is like Amazon Trail. Who needs to play that when you can just do these bird calls? That's the eagle. Yep. Whoa. I've actually, that's one All of my right. favorite parts about being everywhere in the United States that I've lived. There's always been bald eagles. Um, Colorado, Florida, Wisconsin, like, it's pretty amazing to always have them around. I do love that. Goodbye. Literally the very last one is going to be the one that I want, because of course it is. <gasps> oh, come on. I was like, don't. <laughs> Yay, give me your shit. Good thinking. The blue Katinga had to drop that. All right. All right. Headdress complete. Well. I've seen no karma notes though, so I don't know where the hell that's supposed to be coming well from. Oh, there is one, of course. A karma note. That's using your headdress. I mean, your head. <laughs> My name is a work in progress. I like that. Such mystique, Darth. I like that, Deebs. Darth is a robot that Alex created. <laughs> 
Also, I'm a lot softer than any materials he used to working with. Definitely organically grown rather than built. Oh, man. <laughs> I like it. Keep in mind these special words, a hiding place that's for the birds. All right, well, the in the aviary then. Then I'm assuming once I give you your headdress, you're going to be super happy and you just give me the last one. Thanks. With this royal Thank you for saving the entire planet head. and not I'll having the sun the explode. At my feet. Time to start the ceremony. Wapam. Carmen note? Oh shit, really? Oh, I thought I had that one in the bag. Alright, well. F. What did I miss? Is there one We're in the marketplace that I missed? It is. Shit, it's right there. Good work. Wait for me when the theming's done beneath the Aztec symbol for the sun. Bye. Back to the pa All of the Aztec symbols are for the sun. Well, I might have blown through this too quick because I knew what was up. The Aztec symbol for the sun is a snake, right? All right, back to the pa no. The suspects. No. All right, I'll open the Chronopedia on this one. Oh, da da da, Aztecs, Mexico. Da. Some of the stones from Nochilan, older buildings in modern New Mexico. Cool. Sophisticated calendar, solar calendar, 365. Sacrifices. I believe the sun was kept alive and nurtured by blood. Sun god and other gods grow the crops. Aztecs believe the eagle. Ha ha. The eagle on the Mexican flag today because of that. Eagle! I knew it had to be in the bird room, that but I didn't miss the part. Be hiding in a different nook. Oh, bullshit. Eagle. Of course. The eagle is the Aztec Under symbol, for the this sun. symbol for the sun. So it's time to go supernova on a thief. I feel like we just got we under that eagle's Bud skirts and he was not okay with it. For the second time. Saul Rosenberg. <laughs> All right, bugs. It's I already have a competition going with my coworkers and sister who can come up with the best surname. Break out the bug repellent. Interesting. All right, you's got the zap on me, but you'll never catch the buzz about Carmen's Let's real see. plan. Like a moss, I spent hours this week on yes! name sites. Bugs Zapper is behind bars again. That's always Mark pretty Zuma interesting. I don't know. I've always generally liked my given name. Uh, my last name kind of sucks, sun, but uh, of you, like my parents almost named me Grace, which would have been horrible because I am pretty clumsy, so I would have been a legit living oxymoron. Uh, Grace and Rose were the two like no goes. But it looks like um, so I ended up with Kendra as a first name and Corey, C O R I. Which maybe they didn't mean it to be. It was like that is the stripperest name I've ever heard. So if I ever, if you know, my normal day job doesn't work out and Twitch falls through, you'll probably find me stripping or at least pole dancing under Corey with an eye. So hot tip for that. <laughs> I like. I actually really like Corey. I just seems very much like a soap opera name. We'll see. If I ever get rich and famous, I'll probably just switch over to that. But I always thought it'd be You're interesting to like the pick, to the end of the especially century. as like an adult with a, a personality where it's not just assigned to you. That'd be kind of cool. Like I can find the a name that like really fits what I feel like I am, so which is a weird, do. but very cool kind of idea. It's probably why I like playing so many like so tabletop like RP campaigns because you're just like I'm gonna invent this character. I'm gonna name her exactly what I think she's gonna be. If the RP group came up with something, it would absolutely be inappropriate. That's basically the baseline of our group. There's one good thing about traveling with the Chrono Skimmer. We always arrive everywhere right on time. Much like We've wizards in Lord in of the London, Rings. England, near the Thames River. The year is 1599. The Thames. And look, over there, the famous Globe Theater is being rebuilt. There's Oh, Queen that's right, because didn't it burn down? The construction. Those players move so slowly, I may never see my play. You'd think they were building the entire world rather than just the globe. <laughs> what happened to the original globe fear? Was it a fire that took it down? As long as it's inappropriate in a dead language. All right. Corey sounds like the first name of a protagonist of a young adult novel. It really does. It really does. All right. 
Hello, Queen Elizabeth. I have played as you in Civ many a Even time. Even here in 1599. I was going to stay with my given Muslim name out of laziness. It's the capital eh. of England. You do you. Even here in 1599, London is a bustling city. It's the capital of England. Here, do, 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 do. That's London Bridge, and no, it's uh, not falling down. Of course down, they went there. But all those heavy buildings on top did threaten to topple the bridge. So a law was eventually passed outlawing houses on bridges. That seems like a pretty common sense thing, but you know. I can't live on a bridge. What if it's over troubled waters? We are not amused. You may not take the royal barge without my permission. Well, God Perhaps damn. we should court the queen's favor by asking her some questions. All right, let me just pretend to be interested day, in you as a person, and then you let me use your boat. Just look at that building. The fact that By you got that PC crowd, reference is amazing. In it than my father, I've been Darth Henry Buttercup VIII so long that DB is way more to my given name. That's awesome. Sanskrit it is. Be lazy so we can dispel the mystery. <laughs> it's search by initials. I like it. Do do do. Pardon us. Hello, madam. Madam Queen. And I shall reply that I am none other than Queen Elizabeth of England, ruler of all. Ruler. I love that, like the trill R. England is an island fit for a queen. Our crowning achievement is the theater. The world's best playwrights and plays are blooming right Could be here worse. In One London. of my classmates in junior high was named Courtney Colton Sage. Oh, he? Oh, ouch. That's a pretty bad one. Um, all right. That's rough. Courtney Sage. But, like, now? That would be such a badass, like... I don't know, like, that... You could do, like, just 2018, like, if you were named that, and, like, you were, like, right at your, like, your peak, like, all right, I'm coming out of high school, like, Courtney Colton Sage. Like, that's such a good stage name. Oh, man. I don't know. Times change pretty rapidly, it seems, uh, especially now. I just feel like the, the more technology advances, like, the quicker society kind of evolves with it. Uh, personally, is the way I kind of feel about it. It's like, yeah, 20 years ago, that would have been shitty. Now, prime real estate on the name. He was kind of a oh, dick, though. Oh, Who's a libertarian oh, in fifth grade? You know. Fair enough. And our English theaters are Although I, ha I know some friends who would probably claim My that. My favorite playwright is William Shakespeare, as fine a poet as ever penned a play. Shakespeare was the shit. That's the Globe Theater. I do have a lot of fun trying to read actual Shakespearean English. And it's a completely different language. Like, I know that those are words that I can read, but they make no sense put together. Honor. At all. He shared his tequila with me, with only me at a party once because he thought I was cool. Alright, well. Wait, I'm getting my lines crossed. I knew a guy in high school named Shannon, but he was also legit messed up. The army denied him entry after a psychological exam, or at least that was the rumor. Way to get in with the psycho guy, just in case he ever showed up to school with a trench coat. Alright, um... Sorry, one of my friends is PMing me on Facebook, and I'm like, Not now, man, I'm using my phone for chat. Can't talk. Uh, let's see. Glue, William what happened to the glue? William says they're too busy to build. He muttered something about a theft. And they stole the, the script. Now needing to relearn Wait, their lines. so the actors won't rebuild the stage because they need to learn their lines? I have so many questions. <laughs> when will Will get his act together and finish the globe? I wish I knew. <laughs> you may take my royal boat across the Thames and get All right, here we go. We're going to work. lie into that. Uh, my brother was a libertarian fifth grader. Oh, jeez. Banjin, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome in. Shakespearean is like a Beck song. It only makes sense after you hear it. Till then, it's word soup. Oh, man. He crossed you off his death list. Dane Cook, back when Dane Cook was, like, really actually a legit comedian. I'm um, sorry for those who think Dane Cook is the nickelback of comedy. I don't know. I've always liked his earlier stuff. 
he had a really great bit about like making friends with that weird kid in school. <laughs> like I really enjoyed it. Uh, emulation or hardware for the stream? Oh, Grant stream. Never mind. Sorry, not me. It's not all about me today. Never mind. I'm gonna ask the queen how she likes being oh, queen. I do indeed. <laughs> Who's... But I have never found a husband worthy to share my throne. That's amazing. So I have never married. It's lonely at the top. Yes, queen. Follow the queen. She know the way. Brian, you have fucking messed me up with Uganda Knuckles. I can't get it out of my head. And now Liz and I are emailing at work about do not know the way. And I can't stop. You have truly and thoroughly memed me. So thank you for that. I've encouraged exploration of the new world and defeated the Spanish Armada. This is truly a golden age. <laughs> Hello, peasants. Anyway. Hijack the hijack away, man. As long as everybody's in there having a good time. I you missed me floundering trying to navigate the waters between Spain and the New World earlier. <laughs> Hashtag peasants. How do you like wearing a cupcake for a scarf? I'm familiar with Dane Cook bit, but I'm pretty sure Josh was I don't care what Josh is talking about. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about Dane Cook. <laughs> I have shown you the way. Spit on the queen. False queen. <laughs> that whole premise of the VR, the VR chat. Time I, for some globe trotting. I feel like this globe. is me getting old because I don't understand. Just I don't get it, and it theater. kind of just Swiss immediately makes me angry. Holes. And that's was like, yep, William this is it. This right is me this cresting oh, the hill. How much longer shall I endure the slings and arrows of this outrageous fortune? The globe is still not done. And you, Burbage, you must learn your line. Burbage, Let's get it together. <clears throat> Burbage. To beans or not to beans? <laughs> that is indigestion. <laughs> You're killing me, Burbage. It's to be or not to be. Try again. Two beans or hmm. not to beans. It looks like Shakespeare and his players are still rehearsing. Let's head inside. Let's not. At yes. last, okay, or we do. have an audience. Hey, you. Grab a poster and let us know what rehearsal you want to hear next. Oh, every single one of them. Are you serious? Great Caesar's ghost. Who let that foolish dog back inside? Out. Out. Out, dumb spot. Oh, don't be mean to the pupper. Shakespeare wasn't exactly a starving artist. Crowds paid to enter the globe and see his popular plays. Imagine how much he would have earned in Hollywood. Oh, man. Our theater is unusual. For a wave of tongue clicking noises. Rather than some landlord. I did give we away a copy a of the Song of Deep to celebrate finally hitting 50, though. Hell yeah, man. Nice job. Grats on 50, Banjin. Uh, when I heard a song of the oldies channel, I remember coming out. That's when I knew I was old. Yeah. They're starting to do that with, like, old train. Like, a, like Drops of Jupiter train is apparently on, like, fucking Delilah now. And I'm just like, I listened to that on the school bus, man. That's not cool. Unforgiven by Metallica. Ooh. Ouch. Like, Radiohead starting to show up on classic rock. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good with that. It hurts me. All right. I'm going to pick this Romeo poster up. and Juliet. This romantic story is so beautiful. It's, it's easy not, to forget it's a tragedy. It's easily a tragedy. Like, the more I read Romeo and Juliet, I was like, y'all are dumb. Y'all are dumb. Ah, a fine play. If you paste it on the placard over there. All right, placard it is. Ah, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, oh, Romeo, where are thou, fair Romeo? Fall in love, making their parents Star-crossed lovers. In-laws. What can Commit you do? double suicide to prove a but point soft, because teenagers. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou her maid that thou are far more fair than she. Far more fair than she. Your fair is fair to middling, Burbage. Take a break and get back to work on that wall. Good job, Burbage. Hey, where did Burbage run off to with that wall section? Uh, let me grab this note real quick, though. The walls of the globe were labeled by the actors with pairs oh. of lines from their favorite plays. This was supposed to make reassembly easy. If we can right. put those pairs back together, voila, we'll have a finished theater. Indeed. The lines on those wall sections match the unfinished sections of the theater. Lines are lines. I can't lift anything heavy. I might tear my tights. <laughs> Besides, 
I must be. I might tear my tights. He's got some Lularo leggings going on. All right. Foo Fighters. Oh, Foo Fighters is amazing. I Foo Fighters are timeless. David Grohl spans generations. That man is a national treasure. It's going to be all ages. I hope. I really hope. It's in deconstruction. He still is one of the funniest comments on my stream that I've ever had. Oh, I was like, wait, David Grohl commented on your stream? <laughs> uh, the entire point was to show that the romance narrative was absurd and stupid. But that's not how they teach it, and that's what pisses me off. Like, when I was first shown Romeo and Juliet in public school, it was very much like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, I was like, no, this is dumb. They didn't teach it as this is a dumb, snarky commentary. Houtful, houtful boyfriend? Hateful boyfriend, maybe? Got drunk and was using the wrong mic the whole damn night. Ooh. Romeo and Juliet was the teen moms of its day. Letting the lower head make the decisions will guilt you killed. The play. Seriously. Don't be that guy. If it makes you feel better, the entirety of my 2016 Extra Life broadcast I did with the microphone turned off. I did not know that about you, Josh. That's good to know. The Leo DiCaprio version. Oh, yes. Do they really want Burbage, a man who is asking two beans or not two beans, to build a wall? But what if it's two beams or not two beams? The Pretender. You guys remember that YouTube video where it's him showing the best? <laughs> yeah, I do. Houtful Boyfriend, the Pigeon Dating Sim. No. Really? Pigeon Dating Sim? No. God. See, like, the daddy dating simulator and goat simulator. I can kind of, like, I don't quite get it, but, like, sure. The pigeon dating simulator? What? I died in the pigeon. All right, I have so many questions and I need to focus. All right. Yeah? Excellent. We filled the breach. A finished wall is coming into reach. All right, cool. Back to the stage. Your working is quite Back. Oh, no. Enter the globe. Yep. I enter the globe through the solid wall. You have my thanks. All right, next play. A Midsummer Night's Dream is my favorite comedy. I do love Midsummer Night's Dream. And mischievous that one does hold up. It's a classic Mostly fairy because tale. I'm just high fantasy. Fantasy beats sci-fi for me pretty much every day of the week. This, it's the only reason I might slightly prefer Skyrim over Fallout. Slumbered here, while these visions did appear. Slumbered is right. Your acting doth tire me, Burbage. Take I can rehearse no more. In All right, Burbage, come back. I'm an actor. I'm a delicate hands. <laughs> Yay! A thing has happened! Thank you for the thing, guys. Much appreciated. That opening in the wall? No, oh, I want to click that. Uh, here? Well yeah. done. Yeah! Woots! Oh, hey, b thanks for the follow again, Banjan. I feel like you've done this before, so that might be a, a refollow, but By thank you anyway. Truth, Nonetheless. Quite a spin on the globe. I'll play Mike. Cool. Uh, let's see who we got. That's no play. Oh, it's a carbon note. All right. When you hear the drama's call, make your entrance at the stage. All right, that one's not even rhyming. That's a change of pace. Macbeth, who killed his that's, Scottish that's king, the but hags, could not that's see the... trouble brewing. That's double, the witch, double yeah. Toil and trouble. Fire, Fire burn, burn and cauldron and bubble, and eye of newt and hair of dog, and other gross things that make a potion. Billet of a penny snake. In the cauldron, boil and bake. I of new newt to a frog. and toe of frog. Wool of bat and tongue, tongue of dog. dog. Um, Burbage, perhaps you should... I did love the fates, like... Uh, oh, I'm much too talented for the... I'm so talented. So does anybody remember, like, the 1990s cartoon Gargoyles that was on Disney? Because they did a really cool thing where, like, the gargoyles went to Avalon... And they kind of did this thing. Bravo! And that got brought up, this whole Macbeth situation, and I really appreciated that. Um, because so many of my friends who liked the Gargoyle show had no idea what they were referencing Shakespeare, and I felt like 
a geek slash a little bit privileged that I was like, oh yeah, that's totally Macbeth. Blah, blah, blah. Someone dropped a line. A line Xanatos! Oh my this god, gargoyles. Fuck yeah. Name. I'm so glad there's so many people that are into gargoyles. Brooklyn was my favorite. Don't tell anybody. Um, let's see. As players work upon their wall, you snatch the great plays of the age. All right. That opening in the wall? Don't snatch the plays. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Well done. With the globe complete. <laughs> I almost bought the board game at Goodwill, but it had black mold. Oh yeah, that's fair. Um, it blew my mind when I first got into Gargoyles. I did not realize there were so many Star Trek people. So when someone goes like, oh yeah, like Riker played Xanatos. I'm like, oh, of course he did because it's the same fucking facial hair. And they're like, yeah. And then Counselor Troy was Demona. And I was just like, like seriously? Of course she was. That's amazing. Like, it's just so good. There's a cosplayer that I really like. Um, Pantarona, I believe is her name. P-A-N-T-E-R-O-N-A. Uh, she did a wicked cool Demona cosplay. And then right. one of my other Let's favorites, Night Mage, um, out of the States, level. did a wicked cool Goliath. And there's a part of me that really wants what to PM the two of them. Because they're both African-American cosplayers, East, which you don't see nearly Juliet enough of. And they're both killing it. I think you guys just need to do a photo shoot together. Please, moon, please, for the love of God, I need a Goliath and Demona photo shoot together. This is good. I just love it. It's amazing. And I'm not listening to any more Shakespeare because I'm nerding out about cosplay and gargoyles. <laughs> Oh, man. Xanatos' assistant ended up being Puck. Yep. Brett Spiner. Oh, yes, that's right. I knew there was one more. There's that whole season where Goliath, Angela, and Elisa were on the boat. Yeah, seriously. Oh, my God. Michael Dorn. Oh, right, right. No, Michael Dorn was it. They kept bringing in more Star Trek people. Fuck. Ah, nerds. I love it. All right, nothing happened. I picked the wrong thing. I thought there was going to be a... A thing. Henry V, a kingly choice. Young King Henry outgrows right. his Focus. We're focusing on Shakespeare and not Disney cartoons. <laughs> oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling sea. He's getting better. The lines are quite amusing, Burbage. Burbage is, is getting his shit together. I Nicely Bam. Done. Oh, literature is so my thing. Once I love more it. into Uh is it this one? Let's that I start done? again. The opening Double du No, we did that. Fill it up. Uh we did that one, we did this one. Indeed. Oh for a me mm, we did that one. All right, let. But soft. No, oh, we did that one. That was a Carmen note. As you like, it is a most ah. excellent comedy, a tale of love set in a wood where the players cannot see the forest for the trees. I don't all know this one much. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. And the more parts, the better. <laughs> so go build your shit, Burbage. Well, is... Gee, I wonder where this one goes, guys. I don't know. I might not be able to get. Oh wait. Fantastic architecture, detective. Well done. Why never? Oh, uh, Red Claw. So Red Claw was awesome. Red Claw, I thought, was a Batman a animated series villain, pace, though. My dear friends, you Xanatos made him that way. I think he broke his statue for him. Ooh, the it's the one where someone dies. Begin. Spoilers. And I have a royal reward for you. Backstage passes. Ooh, Follow VIP me. status. Wasn't Red Claw or is it Red Paw? Hey, it looks like we're in the tire She was like black hair with like an off the shoulder and she had like a wicked and tattoo. Like a monster begun. tattoo before it's time. Cool. What am I doing back here? Oh, it's the, it's a queen. The queen. Follow the queen. She know the way. In Shakespeare's day, only men were actors and they played the women's roles as well. Talk about role reversal. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
That is an inappropriate joke for children. This armor was another costume used during plays like Hamlet or Henry V. I bet it also came. <laughs> Just protect us from the unruly crowd. Actors pinned papers to the wall so they could study the lines of the. They hung on every Actors word. <laughs> These sewing tools were used by the tire men, the tailors who made the actors' attire. The attire men. All right, cool. Shakespeare's audience expected to see lavish costumes from actors playing royalty. This costume Calm might down, be audio. A down from an actual king. Wow, audio just got super crackly for some reason. Believe it or not, that's a real cannon. It was sometimes used to make sure the play started off with Barclay. a Barclay, all right. The Jackal, I remember that. It was like this weird like anti-superhero group. All right. Batman teamed up with Catwoman to beat her. Yes, Red Claw. All right, you guys nerd out about animated series things. Uh, awesome. I wish I could join you, but otherwise we'll be here all day with me not playing this game, just talking to you guys about TV shows that I used to watch. On stage, the actors used fake swords and red vinegar for blood. That way, anyone who wanted to take a Oh, the audio is so freaking out. Without getting hurt. So if this is anything, I can't remember which game I played before that it started doing this. It kind of just reset itself after yeah, a minute. Yeah. The judge is just playing around the Let's not get a lot of performance. Actors use trap doors like this. We'll just wait for the audio to figure itself out. Some of these actors were really out of sight. Oh, good night, Molly. Cold stone, like the ice cream. <laughs> Brian is really upset about Doki Doki. Somebody answer him before he loses his shit. Alright, cool. Performance in progress. The performance has his hand. We don't need on him. I'll be. It is a big thing for me, baby. Wow. All right. Row across the Thames. The guy just... No. No, go. Condoms are total lots for success. Yeah, I know we need to find all the pieces. So the queen's gone, but here's this note. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god, this audio is killing me. Once you have them, quick retire to that which sets the globe on fire. Alright. We gotta go backstage, I assume. Can I go back to the... backstage? That's rowing across... Oh, backstage, yes. The first globe, spark of a cannon, set shit on fire. That would be kind of cool to go back and interview somebody who was like in the globe watching a Shakespeare play when it caught fire the first time. That'd be pretty legit. This audio, ah, uh, terrible. Alright, so it's not fixing itself. And it's 10.30. I have no idea what she just said. She sounds like a demon. It is super demonic. Every other game I've played where this error happened, it kind of glitched out enough and just like fixed itself. Apparently, that's not the case with Carmen San Diego. Oh, wait, it's getting a little better. That performance deserves a promotion. Yes! Your new badge says, I'm Inspector! Oh, I'm an Inspector. I'm on the gadget level now. All right, guys. I think I am going to call it here tonight. Um, mostly because I have an all-day stream coming up on Sunday. When you're ready to continue, we'll pick up our search right here. Thanks. Thanks, Chief. All right. Welcome to my lovely... Here we go. I'll just give you guys the beautiful... Windows desktop scene. Um, so that does it for me tonight. This has been 8 Bitch with the Rap Scallion Brigade uh, playing some Carmen San Diego Where in Time slash Great Chase Through Time multiple titles. So, real quick recap for anybody who's new or if you guys missed it at the beginning, we are doing a streaming Streamlabs giveaway, meaning you have to have the Streamlabs widget active on Twitch to be able to earn the coins. The coins which you will redeem for entries into a basically a random drawing 
for some steam codes. We are doing Psychonauts, Pony Island, uh, Black Hole, Killing Floor, and Cities in Motion 2, if I remember correctly. Oh no, Back to Bed. That's right, Back to Bed as well. Um, yes, all of the things. Let me just make sure I've got all those right. All right, yes. Pony Island, Cyclonauts, Black Hole, Back to Bed, Cities in Motion 2, Killing Floor, we're going to save for another one. So, we'll be drawing three names randomly. The first person drawn gets the pick of five. Whatever they pick goes away. The second person drawn will get the pick of the four remaining. The third person drawn will get the remainder of three. So, more coins earned. The more you watch, the more coins you get. And then you can redeem those for entries throughout this entire week. We are running this Saturday to Saturday, so it'll start tomorrow with Deep Fried Awesome and guest um, appearance with Matt on Double Dragon 4, running all the way through next Saturday, which will be the debut of the Faubourg Live. That Saturday, Faubourg Saturday, last Saturday of the giveaway, we'll be doing a double rate of coins, so that'll be a really good day to tune in. They'll be on for several hours. You guys can earn maximum coins. It'll be amazing. Um, so make sure you're earning those coins all week long, redeeming them by the end of the Faubourg viewing on Saturday, the whatever day Saturday is. I'm so polished. It's amazing. Saturday the 17th. So this is going to run 210 through 217. Every single Rapscallion Brigade stream, you can earn those coins, redeem them for entries into that giveaway. Make sure you have Streamlabs active so that you're earning the coins while you watch. There's also going to be some random chest dropping, so if you guys have seen that, um, make sure you're clicking on those. You'll have about 20 seconds, and that's not going to be showing up for everybody. So every half hour, random smattering of viewers is going to get that pop-up. So make sure you're keeping an eye on your window. Click that treasure chest, get bonus coins, even more entries. And then you get first pick of whatever you want if you get that first name drawn. So check out our Facebook page. We'll have a detailed post there breaking everything down. I will be back on Sunday all day tomorrow deep fried awesome doing some double dragon i'm going to be doing more carmen I'm going to be booting up space quest 2 really excited for that um, you can catch previous playthroughs of space quest 1 on youtube also linked in the uh, facebook post we'll be putting out lots of exciting stuff coming your way thank you guys everybody for joining us and uh yes all day sunday stream looking forward to seeing you guys um, and I do want to give a big shout out to um, Ben, who I know he's already gone to bed. He had an event for his business today that involved him and his wife being in some wicked cool 70s costumes. Um, ben has been here basically since we got this project off the ground in June and has shown up like a boss all the time. So Ben's probably up to like 3,000 coins by now. Unfortunately, we're wiping all of them tonight. So we're going to start everybody back at zero but a really big shout out, um, Ben, I, Raven, I, three, however you want to actually say that, for hanging out. Um, Callowen, our current top bits cheer on the, the stream, a uh, friend of mine from work. So thanks to Callowen for hanging out with us. And uh, and Darth and Vit, you guys, I feel like once you found us, you guys never actually left, which we adore. So thank you guys all for coming in, hanging out. Shout out to um, Banjin and Kelp Help for hosting the channel when we're not around and everybody else that's popped in and supported this project. We've been going out about seven months now with much greater success than I think any of us actually anticipated when we started out. So thank you, everybody. Much appreciated. If you like what you're doing, what we're doing here, you're enjoying yourself, tell your friends, share the posts. We always appreciate that. Um, let us know what we could do better. Always room for improvement since... Uh, None of us have any idea what we were doing when we started. So big shout out to everyone who's been here. Looking forward to bringing you guys in on some more giveaways, trying to give a little bit back to the awesome folks that have been supporting the Rap Scallion Brigade. And uh, yeah, so starting tomorrow night, tune in, earn those gold coins. And uh, yeah, I think that does it for me. So this has been 8-Bitch with Rap Scallion Brigade signing off. You guys have a good night, and I will see you all in chat over the next week or so. Everybody have a good night. We'll see you later.